All righty, that should be us. Perfect, we are live. Gonna bring up my phone, do a quick little audio check. Theo Vaughn. Theo Vaughn's a funny dude, but that's not what I'm looking for right now. I'm looking for me. There we are. Theo Vaughn. Perfect. All right, let's get this show on the fucking road. All right, dude, today we're going to be doing a pack opening, and that is pretty much it. That's our fucking uh, main goal. We got 13,000 gems to blow. Right, so the reason it's 13 is because we also have the new little fucking celebration style packs. There's a 10 master packs and a bunch of aesthetic stuff. Probably not worth it for most people, but if you want the aesthetics, by all means, you know your boys gotta get it, right? Uh, so we're gonna get those, then we're gonna drop the rest of the gems in Blazing Arena. And I, just while we're waiting on a few people joining in, let's talk about these new cards. So, first of all, Konami, what the fuck? What the fuck? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> what is this about? <laughs> so, right now, what we decide to do on the newest pack, right? We decide to buff the best and the other best deck in the game. We buff the two best decks. By far, Unchained Lab is going to be probably the best deck in the game. If not, like, sort of third place to, like, regular Lab and Snake Eyes, like, I don't get it, right? It's just support for the best decks in the game. Now, there's also really fun stuff here. Unchained in general, huge fan. Love Unchained. Gonna be abusing the shit out of this. Um, we've got Volcanics. This is a really cool little deck. I don't really fully know how it works, but the card art's like, look at this man. Look at this dude. He's insane. And we've got Sharks. Oh, this is a deck that I'm going to be abusing as well. Sharks is one of my favorites because, like, Ze the Zexal anime I thought was really good. Hot take. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I think Zexal was great. Especially later in, this, in the seasons. Awesome. Man, there's just a lot of good shit here. A lot of good shit. Let's fucking do this. Right, you know what? We're not going to waste too much time. We are going to start off, though, with the little um, Master Pack bundles. So we are we're just going to start off with these, sort of tempting fate a little bit while we're waiting on people joining. Ooh, not bad. I'll take some dust. These are probably, so, so these are just random master packs, which means they're not like based on anything. So it's just random cards, right? So chances of us getting something like good or relevant is fairly low, but we'll see. Out of Unchained. Yeah, I would recommend it. It's going to be awesome. I, again, I'm planning on building quite a number of Unchained decks. Uh, just to sort of play around. Ah, oh, the protect protector world. That's neat. Oh shit! Yes, I didn't upload my. Um, sorry, I didn't. I wasn't expecting to go live today. All right, I was rushed by. Um, it is. I uh, thank you for pointing that out. I wasn't expecting to go live today, so I'm not, not fully prepared. I'm not gonna lie to you, Chief. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, normally, I don't do streams two days in a row, um, but you know, special occasion. Mink. Get that chat updated. Perfect. Let's keep her lit. Let's keep her going. Uh, lost a Gene Raider. Yeah, Gene Raider got um, a little buff in the form of the Runic Slipnir. Uh, Slipnir's pretty dope. Engraver of the Mark? Oh, yeah, I remember you. Yeah. Loki, dope ass art. But, like, really random card. Yeah. <laughs> Bonfire. Bonfire is a very interesting choice. Uh, I don't... I don't know. Is there any deck you believe that's not meta that could reach Master? Tons of them. We, we Yesterday, on yesterday's stream, we got to Master rank using Red Dragon Archfiend. Like, that was our whole stream, was getting to Master using Red Dragon Archfiend. And we did it. We did it easily. So, yeah, there's tons and tons of decks you can use to hit Master that aren't forefront in the meta. Yeah, I mean we haven't uh we haven't we're we're right now we're doing the master packs while we're sort of waiting on people joining in. You know, we're just getting our hopefully our bad luck out of the way, but I'm gonna be honest, the um we got a couple of URs in this so far, so not terrible. I'll take the dust, right? At the end of the day, that's all this stuff is out of these packs. It's just dust. I'm mainly doing this for the the accessories and stuff, of course. Wanna hit a high level with TG? Do it. TG's awesome. You can definitely hit a, a master rank with TG. It'd be a little bit tough because your deck's somewhat susceptible to, to hand traps. Okay, Ultimus, nice. Uh, your deck is somewhat susceptible to hand traps, but um, 
other than that, yeah, if you power through it and like play enough games, you will get the master using TG. It's good. Uh Tour guide I saw, I saw that, um, but I also saw that people weren't playing it actually to play around hand traps, right? Uh, for example, I watched a deck profile from the guy who got first place in the, the Las Vegas regionals, and he, he, he specifically cut tour guide. He said he didn't want it, uh, just because it makes your deck a little bit more susceptible to hand traps. Which is which is an interesting take. I like it. I think the 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 difference is that we have three copies of Shivara, and we can respond to a potential like imperm or something by popping it and summoning our Shivara, which would be insane, right? Oh, look at these. This card is awesome. What what is this card? I want it. I'm assuming this is like a prize card, and you can't actually play it. It's fucking sick though. Hell yeah! All right, first pack out of the way. Let's go into the magicians of. Bond and Unity. Weird name. A couple of URs. Okay, nice little warm up. We're getting in. Sky Strikers did enter Duel Links. I did see that actually. I've been kind of tempted to hop back in and Duel Links. Um, Mutant TDs, man. I've already done that deck. Didn't I, didn't I already do Mutant Thunder Dragons? I think I did. Unironically, un I think I already did that. <laughs> How'd you get gems? Um. What? Me? Money? Never. I would never spend money on a game. You're insane. Tacky- oh, I thought that was going to be Royal. Oh my god, I would have thrown up. I would have thrown up if that was Royal. Oh. That was so close. <laughs> oh dear. Dear, 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 dear. <laughs> oh yeah, just do enough solo mode, you know? I just I just grind solo mode for about 45 minutes. It's fine. <laughs> All right. Sky Striker is definitely I don't know. I don't know if it's them. I don't know how it is in Duel Links to be fair. I don't know what how it's sitting in Duel Links. Akasha Magician, what? New to me. Don't know what that one is. Don't really care. Can I explain how Butler cracks lab? Don't know. Don't know yet. We're all gonna learn together. I've heard it's pretty good. I don't I don't know how it like breaks lab. I looked at it and I was like, that's a good card. But I, I didn't look at it ever and think to myself, ah, that card's broken and degenerate and disgusting and it's too good. Like, it's it's a good card. So we'll see. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe just that extra consistency is is that much of a boost. Uh, yeah, we just started opening. Yeah, so right now we're doing the master packs for the little accessory bundles. And then we're going to jump into the selection pack. Yeah, the Tachyon Dragon fucking Royal would have been a hell of a start. You got a Royal Shavara? That shit's based as hell. Royal Shavara is where it's at. Getting updated Snake Eyes for sure. Yep, Snake Eyes is on my list. I've got a whole bunch of decks on my list. So we got... Let me just consult the archives. Uh, <laughs> I can't, when, I, when I say list, I know like most people use list metaphorically. No, I have an actual list. All right? I, I actually write it down. But I have like nine decks that I just added on to it today. So, yeah. <laughs> Easy Chaos Angel. Whoa. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I suppose that's true, actually. Yeah, Butler does make Chaos Angel a little bit easier. If you uh, want to go down. Yeah, if you want to go down the Chaos Angel right, you're good, for sure. All right. Last of the Master Packs. This is the last of the, of the warm-up. Pushing this shit out of the way. What do we get in our, our last warm-up pack? What do we get? You know what? That's actually kind of a neat card. Um, it's a weird card, but it's neat. All right, sick. Three URs. I we, when did we get Magnifica? I didn't even see that shit. What? When did we get this? Three URs? I'll fucking take it. That's just uh, material to me, my friend. Hell yeah. All right. Now we got the pussy stuff out of the way. We've given people about 10 minutes to join the stream. And I think it's time to fucking hop into the meat and bones of it. Let's fucking go. 11,000 jams into the selection pack. We've got a couple of URs off the rip. That's good. It's a good start. Good start. Super Heavy Samurai Snake Eyes could be a thing now with Banshee. Hmm, yeah. Actually, yeah. If you would have to... You would have to not play Bonfire. But... Yeah, I could see it. I could see that being a thing. I mean, I guess you could still play... 
play Bonfire and just do the SHS stuff for, I don't know. I, I just don't like mixing things that much with Super Heavy Samurai where I would still play their spells and traps. But yeah, you could definitely do something like that for sure. What's a good rogue deck you think would be good to play? There's a, there's a, like so many. I uh, honestly, I, I couldn't narrow it down. My most prominent example right now is I love Resonators. Uh, Red Dragon Archie and Resonators, that's what I play. Um, a lot of. There's gonna be a lot of new shit. I can't even I can't even tell you because so many new cards just came out. And it's gonna be flipped on its head. The whole meta is gonna be flipped on its head. A volcanic instant dismount. You're insane. Volcanics look dope as hell. I'm super looking forward to playing volcanics. Ooh. Okay, uh, okay, I already have that one. That's not the unchained UR we're looking for, Konami here. Um, come on. That's up to you. It depends on what you want to play. The card, uh, what, okay. Um, the cards in this deck are, in, in this pack are better. I'll tell you that. Oh, wait, hang on. What is in the other pack? Maybe I'm wrong. I'm not sure, actually. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's both, both packs are really good, to be fair. So you can, you can go nuts. Are you doing Kalil? Oh... We got this. Oh, double yours. All right. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Crystal Skull, that's fine. Banshee. And Shavara. Holy shit, what a pack. What does Banshee do? Detach material, take a pyro from your deck, and either add it to your hand or send it to Grave. Okay, that's, that's good. That's automatically good. I see what you mean by Super Heavy Samurai Snake Eye. I see it. I get it. I can see that now. <laughs> this card is banished, and you control a pyro monster. You can special summon this card if you do against attack equal to the number of currently banished monsters by 100. That's a really fucking good card. Holy shit. All right. It is Rhoda on legs. All right. I am with you. <laughs> oh, gear. Okay. That's a good pack, though. We got one Shavara. Shavara is awesome. And these Exceed cards are going to be dope as well. I really want to play those in like a Shark Lancer type deck. It's going to be awesome. Uh, you can just craft a new card, so then, then, then craft them. Go nuts, Chief. Whatever suits you best. Unchained with Snake Eyes. I don't know about that. Oh, another double UR pack? Butler and Abomination. That's fine. Yeah, I'll fucking take it. God damn. Holy shit. All right, what do we got here? One last UR to finish this out. Let's go. Let's so. Crystal Skull, another abomination. God damn. This is the Flame Wingman all over again. I don't need this card. <laughs> That's six URs, though. I'm not going to complain. Holy shit. What a first pack. That's amazing. That's awesome. Uh, how many butlers do we need? You can get away with two. I would say two is all you need. Some people are going to play at a three. Um,. A lot of people are probably going to play it at one, honestly. Pe most people, I would probably say most people, if I were to make an educated guess, around 55 to 60% of people are probably going to play it at two. And then more people are going to play it at one than, than who are going to play it at three. So you can you can get away with two for real. You don't need a third. Um, not a problem, Antonio. Again. So that's what they do. I very rarely upload a deck that I don't think can get the master. Because I think if you play any deck well enough and play it enough, you'll get the master. It'll just happen, right? What deck are we going to play on stream? I don't know yet. I, I don't know. I haven't um, fought too heavily on it. I think we are probably going to play Unchained. Because, you know, I'm a fucking... For those who don't know, I know I haven't uploaded it in quite a while. But I'm a fucking huge Un Unchained fan. I used to upload their content a good bit back when it was a good budget deck. Uh, but then the meta just got too crazy for them, and they just couldn't keep up. So, um... Salamagrit or Cybers. Yep, absolutely. Oh, how many butlers will I be playing? I'm not sure. Um, probably two, I would say. I would probably play two. Is there any tier zero deck in this pack? No, there's not. Uh... I mean, I think the, um... Un I mean, this pack is gonna make the two current tier one decks much much better like lab and snake eye are the two tier one decks right now and they both got huge buffs in this pack so if you're planning on playing either of them you're gonna want to go in on this pack for sure uh lab dynamorphia you could for sure yeah lab dynamorphia 
and just play it exactly like you have been playing it, except you just also play Butler. Like, you don't even make any changes to it. It's just the same deck, just with Butler. All right, that's fair. Um, so bad. Ah, uh, yeah, that is also true. Oh, this card's also nice for most fire decks. Not Snake Eye, though. So the way this card works is you discard this and another fire, and then you get to search for a fire who has more attack than the other one you discarded. Now, that's not super great in, in Snake Eye because most of your like, ideal search target um, have super low attack points. But in, like, any other fire deck, this is actually a really good card. I just wish it was a pyro and not a spellcaster. But other than that, it's sick. Um, think I lab. I don't. You think armored sharks are gonna be tier two? That's a fucking hot take. You think they're gonna be better than fucking Monadium super heavy samurai? You think they're gonna be better than all of those other like tier three decks? Shit, man. Unless I just don't know anything about sharks. I don't know. That's a fucking. That's an ask. Yeah, uh, when Fire King comes out, there, there needs to be some changes, for real. Um, I'm just planning on having fun with Unchained in the meantime. It's going to be awesome. Uh, would Lab work? Would Lab and Super Heavy Samurai, Super Heavy work as a deck? Uh, it would be tough. It would be very tough to make that work. I'm not going to lie. Magnum the Reliever. What? One monster special summon from the extra deck and one monster in hand. What? Then draw a card when this when an, another card or effect is activated, you can banish polymerization or fusion spell from graveyard, target a card in the field and destroy it, right? But doesn't your first effect shuffle back your poly or fusion spell? That's a bit dumb. <laughs> mana is gonna you think you think mana's gonna play Banshee? Interesting. Okay, that's very interesting. Uh how would Manalian take advantage of Banshee? I could see how they could summon it, but like what are they doing with it, right? Um, that card works in Despia. I think I've seen it actually in um, Illusion-based Despia decks, yeah. But I just, I just don't get it. And like, oh, I guess it recycles back your brand of fusion for you to. Okay, yeah, okay, I fuck with it. Okay, I see that. Yeah, it's wild that they hit the dear servant and then release buffs to lab. Like that's in, that's insane to me. That's incredible. I don't, I don't understand that at all. Battling boxer tier three, probably not. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Battle of boxers are probably still ass, but um, they're they're better now than they were. That's not saying much for the most part, buddy, brother. Come on, don't be doing this to me. Don't be doing this to me. Uh, Fire King, yeah, Fire King will be coming soon. Yeah, Fire King and the overall amount of fire support is... I mean, I like Volcanics coming out because Volcanic is like, it's fire and it takes advantage of a lot of new support without being degenerate, right? So I like Volcanics. Other than that, I don't know. Oh, shit! That's good! I'll take that! The Ashoka Pillar, I'm probably not gonna play, but, you know... But I play two or three copies of Bissy Lebellion. I don't play Lebellion. I don't play Lebellion in mine. I think even even if you're playing Bastilles, I don't think you play Lebellion. I think you just play one Magnomet, one Drissworm, and one Baldric. That's it. If if I were to play Bastilles, that's as many Bastilles as, as I will play. I don't like playing Lebellion stuff in in Resonators. Uh, Bandless Rob is weird. Yep. Yeah. Pillar Burn deck. Pillar Burn? What? No. The, no, it affects 2,000 damage to yourself, not to your opponent, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you, you take 2,000 damage. How is Volcanic not degenerate? Yeah, there's going to be a, a bunch of ways of playing it. Come on. Fire King and Racist are coming. The only thing you want is Noir. True. Yeah, where is Noir? Where is Noir? Hang on, my, my dog's going nuts. <laughs> my dog's freaking the fuck out. Fucking hell. Someone must be at the door. <laughs> Battle Boxer C79. Your opponent would special summon a monster, detach two materials from this card, and you get summoning. Oh, that's pretty good! Against bonus effect if it has this guy's material. Once per turn. 
when an attack is declared on your opponent's monster, send a battle of Oh shit! Alright! He's actually pretty good! He's actually not terrible! Uh, there's a spell card with the skull to reverse the burn. Oh, alright, okay. That sounds, um... That sounds interesting. Oh! Oh shit! Oh fuck! Royal Burn Clarless! Chaos King of Dark World, holy shit! God, that is a fucking nice royal. This card is incredible. Holy shit. That's good. That's nice. I like that. That's a nice one. <laughs> uh, no, that's lucky. That card's incredible. Like, so that card basically on fusion summon nukes the board. Oh, we got an oh, we got a glossy one day. <laughs> um it doesn't suck, what are you talking about? It could be summoned off a fucking uh, quick play fusion spell and then nuke your opponent's whole board on their turn. That sounds pretty dope to me. Uh, have you ever tried Witchcrafters with the branded ladies? No, I haven't. I've never played Witchcrafters, so I haven't. I tried to like make a Witchcrafter deck, but not only A, are they decently expensive, they also kind of suck, so I never <laughs> really went near them. <laughs> Two on chain cards and 14k. That's that's rough. We're uh, we're not having the best track record here so far. We've yet to get a single copy of Yama. Uh, oh, <laughs> right as I say it, <laughs> right as I say it, we get the Yama. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> uh, we get Centurion with the next pack. I think Centurion was a little bit further into the future, was it not? Maybe a pack or two away. <laughs> <laughs> I feel a bit Dark Lord deck. I already have one in, in the works. Dark Lord Despia. I'm working on it. With some of the new branded cards. Um, it is definitely taking a backseat to the new stuff, but it's 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 on my list. Uh, and not to ban this for Pearly. I mean, yeah, they need to alleviate some of the pressure on Pearly. Pearly's not that like degenerate right now. It's I mean it's I mean it's it's an interesting dichotomy, for sure. Uh, take back 14 Dempsey you got. <laughs> Dempsey's a good card as well, but you don't need 14 of it. You definitely don't. Yama, damn, we got some decent URs that time. Hell yeah. 7k, let's go. Let's keep her lit. Yet to get a single ball on fire, though. Ooh, is Dark Lords back? No, they're not back, but they're fun to play. And you could do like a, a nice little Arc Lord Christia lock with Branded. So you could do that. That's what I'm probably going to do. 3k gens, 3 bond. Oh. 3 bonfire, that's nice. And 3k gems, that's fucking hella nice. Abomination. If you're going to continue to give me Abomination, just um make it royal. Give me a royal. Like, if you give me a royal, I will forgive all of the extra copies you've given me. All will be forgiven. Come on, Konami. Clullers. Okay, Volcanic Emperor. This guy here is actually super interesting. So this guy, basically, you can tribute summon him by tributing a, a tribute summoned monster you control and the monster your opponent controls, which is insane. And if the monster you tributed, uh, sorry, and on tribute summon, he banishes a card out of your opponent's hand and inflicts a thousand damage. And if you tribute summoned a level eight or higher tribute summon a monster off of your field, like Monarchs do, you also get to banish a card in the field and inflict even more burn. So, like, this card's pretty good. It's, it's a kaiju and a hand loop. It's a kaiju and a hand loop. How you doing, Makuro? Welcome. It has been a while, actually. Yeah, I haven't seen your name in chat in a bit. Shivara does not have an animation. It does not, unfortunately. I wish it did, but unfortunately not. Um... The only Unchained to have an animation is the Abomination itself. Uh, the big bad boss of the deck. Uh, Lair of Darkness. You... No, it's, it wouldn't work with the Lair of Darkness field spell, unfortunately. Um, I mean, you're already tributing your opponent's card, so... Should be fine. Do an event where unbanned cards. Oh, there's another sh Oh. I thought it was going to be royal for a second. God damn. God damn. I was bonfire used for any deck that plays pyros most significantly snake eye. Snake eye loves it because snake eye is all pyros. 
Hell yeah. I thought we were I thought that was gonna be royal. I was I'm I'm pissed. Oh double YR again! This one's good. I didn't have that. I think I've got enough emperors. God damn. <laughs> Holy shit. We are killing it today. Ring announcer and colorless. Uh, there's a Nemesis Fire card you can search for with Banshee in mana that lets you... Wait, what? Uh, Nemesis Flag you're talking about? Infernoble... I guess, yeah, if you're playing like a Snake Eye engine in Infernoble, yeah, you could, you could take advantage of that. Well, actually, yeah, you could probably take advantage of a few things in this pack. Okay, that's pretty, that's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. Five URs, hell yeah. Let's keep her lit. Let's keep her fucking lit. Okay, this one's not looking too hot, but it's fine. We need a maybe we, we need a little calm down pack, so we do. That's fine. Got yourself a royal bonfire. You're incredible. You're something else. Full armor exceed. This is an interesting enough. Are we still gonna you are in our first pack? <laughs> the Dark Knight Lancer. Yes. It's Batman. Oh my god, yes. Okay, I thought this was going to be a garbage one, but you know what? That, that's a decent start. Seven Force. During the battle phase, if a monster is destroyed by battle card effect, target a number, exceed monster, and create a special summon from your extra deck as a chaos number with the same type but a rank higher. And if you do attach that monster to it as material, if you special summon the number C uh, between 1 and 107, you can add one Seventh or Baryon's spell or trap or a rank up magic card. From deck the hand. That's interesting. Very interesting. We'll need the one lance here. Okay, good. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. If that's the case, then we're perfect. I'm gonna need uh I know someone in the in, in our Discord there mentioned to me that there was a regional top with sharks uh somewhat recently, so I'm gonna check that out and see sort of what the deal is there. Sugar Pillars, great support for Infernoble and Maconko. Yeah, I sort of thought I uh I sort of knew it was going to be good for Makonko. I don't know if it's going to be good in Invernoble, because you have to commit your normal to it. But, I mean, maybe. I don't know. What do I know? Okay, Volcanic Trooper. That should be the last of the Volcanic cards we need. Four Royal Fire Charmers? What? <laughs> no way. I refuse to believe you. Uh, pure Shark deck. They can spam Toad. Oh, right, but we don't have Toad, right? Hmm... We don't have Totally Awesome. Is, by Toad is like... Are we talking about Totally Awesome? Right, right. Okay, let's see. We don't have that. Hmm. Okay. Uh, right. We're going to have to come back to that then. So the shark idea, we're going to have to probably come up with something original then. Heaven forbid. So, we'll do that. We can do that easily enough. What is this? Battle and Boxer Cross Counter. Oh, yeah, that's from the... I remember that episode. Okay, you got two yards. I'll take it. That's that's on par. That's what we're looking for. What have we got so far? We're halfway through. What have we got? What do we still need? So, we don't have any Dempsey. Uh, we've got six. Six of this guy. Great. Uh, two Shivara, which is awesome. We don't have any bonfire, but it's literally just bonfire we need. It's just bonfire we're pulling for now. Damn, we can't, uh, we can't, we can't get everything, huh? <laughs> Sharks, um, yes, Abyss Dweller is awesome. You know, a deck that spams out Abyss Dweller is, is going to be a good deck. Ring announcer, what does this do? Special summon battle and boxer from my hand, and destroy, spell some traps, up to the number of exceed monsters. It's alright. It's not a fantastic card. It's okay. Dempsey is good. Yeah, I know. I, I read its effect. It seems pretty dope. I like it. Yeah, all oh, the stream is pop. What the fuck? 105. Y'all are crazy. Love it. Yeah, and that's just on YouTube. Love to see it. Thank y'all for showing up. We're having a fucking good time, though. Yeah, the sharks are going to be pretty dope. I think the sharks in general are going to be awesome. Uh, Still no bonfire. We have everything else, just no bonfire. We have literally everything else. Oh, brother. You know, I actually really like this guy's art. He's fucking awesome. 
I don't need four copies of him, but he's awesome. Uh, made that we pull so far. We are down to... So this is our... We've got five... We've got 4,000 gems after this one. So we're like sort of 7k deep. Yeah, I mean, if you are watching and you want to, you know, hit the like button, you know, it's right there. It's free. But anyways, uh, you're not getting nothing for free, for free off Konami. So at the very least, that's free. <laughs> What's the shark boss monster? The Dark Knight Lancer dude? He's pretty dope. You can basically just, like, steal your opponent's monsters and shit. Uh, like, as material. Oh, Dark Corridor is another card we wanted. The fact that we got that Royal Colorless. Oh, shit. Or Chloralus. People are going to try correcting me on that. I, I refuse. That's Colorless. I'm just, that's what I'm going to call it. Um, Yeah, the Dark Lancer is awesome. Oh, another Dark Corridor. Nice. It's one that... Okay, that's fine. I thought it was going to be another royal for my Dark World deck. Because I've already got Jenta Royal. So, like, I, like a third royal would be pretty fucking... Pretty nice. But, you know, it, it, it is what it is. You know, can't get too... Can't get too greedy. Can't get too greedy. You know? Gotta be humble. Oh. Man, it's hard to be upset, though. Because that's the thing. Like, even if we don't pull any bonfires, we have enough material to craft it. Like, we pull literally six abominations. Uh, we tried Unchained. We're only opening the packs now. But, yeah, Unchained... I played like old Unchained. Um, it was always a blast. So I'm really looking forward to playing it with the new cards. It's going to be awesome. This pack is a scan. The pack is amazing. <laughs> All right, four fights and jams left. We're so close. We're so close to the bottom of the well here. We need to get Bonfire. We need Bonfire. So let's keep her lit. Let's keep doing this. That's fine. Volcanic Inferno, this card's actually neat. For being a rare, it's it's actually a negate. When your opponent activates a monster effect from the field, you can banish a pyro monster from Grave, and if you banish the Volcanic Monster, uh, you negate the effect that you chain to. And during your opponent's end phase, target out the two Volcanic Monsters that are banished or in the Grave, place them on the bottom of the deck. So it recycles your banished shit back. So, um... Evil Eye Unchained. Oh, you're a fucking genius. Let me write that shit down. You're a genius. You're a genius. Evil Eye Unchained. Or, yeah. Evil Eye Unchained. I fuck with it. Nice. I like it. Awesome. Let's keep it lit. Let's keep going. Started playing like 10 minutes ago after the pack drop, full and chained. Yeah, man. It, I mean, people are going to be pretty confused about the new cards. People who have never like sort of seen TCG gameplay, like me, I've never seen these guys played. I've no idea what they do. So a large portion of this is going to be news to me as well. So yeah. Lab Unchained is going to be awesome. Lab Unchained is going to be like the way of doing it. Volcanic Salamagrit. So they're both fire, but the way um, volcanic work is they need to, they need pyros, not cybers, unfortunately. So I don't think Salamagrit uh, volcanic would work very well, just because all of the volcanic cards work off of banishing pyro monsters. Uh, give what deck a chance? Um. Yeah, that is fair. I mean, yeah, it's pretty sure it's, it's pretty straightforward. Any deck can get the master if you fucking grind at it. Mechanic with Runic. Um, I don't see where you would mix it with Runic. I don't see the synergy there. Uh, your your best bet for, for Volcanic is going to be mixing it with Snake Eyes, right? I mean, think about it logically. The other really powerful Pyro deck in the game is Snake Eyes. So that's probably going to be the way to go to play it. All right, what do we get? Another Festalos. Uh, an abomination. Ah, <laughs> uh, a free royal. Yeah, I mean that sounds. I mean, I don't think that's true. But Hita Ablaze is a pretty decent card. It's definitely a dog person. <laughs> Isn't abomination a lion? I think that's a cat. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a lion. Is it? No, no. I no, it's kind of got the face of a dog, I guess. Yeah, maybe. Maybe you're right. Running SG Sharks. Ooh, SG Sharks sounds pretty fun. I don't know if it's Dead Puller, yeah. 
I would just like... I would like even just like a singular bonfire at this point. You know what I mean? Just to lighten the... um, Just to lighten the load of the amount of shit I'm going to have to craft. Damn, I really should have brought some fucking water or something into this room. Oh, fuck. Okay, we're almost through with the packs. All we need is bonfire, man. Give us a bonfire. Come on. Triangle zero. What the fuck is this? If you control Crystal Skull, Ashoka Pillar, and Cabra... Wait, what? Destroy all cards in the field also for the rest of the turn. Your opponent takes any effect damage you would have taken instead. Best card in the grave target a crystal... Draw for shit. What? That's so bad, but also really good. What the fuck? <laughs> like, that's that's terrible, but also amazing. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that would that would be cool. That would be sick. Uh, unfortunately, not. Zalamander Catalyzer. That's pretty awesome. You can reveal this in a Fiend Monster and hand special on one discard the other. When a monster is destroyed by battle involving your Fiend Monster, while this card's engraved, add this card to hand. Zalamander's pretty neat. I don't know if we really need him. I don't know if it's free. You have to get the other three bastards to the graveyard as well. So I don't think free is the word I would go for. But I mean, yeah. <laughs> Still getting an April pack. Um, I have no idea. That's a good question. That is a very good question. You have to craft your last bonfire. I'm probably going to have to craft three at this point. Which, you know, it's fine. I can live with that. Okay, maybe a little something. Runic did get an upgrade, but I think the deck that's going to benefit more from the new Runic card is probably going to be Gene Reader. Why is the pack only 40 dead? It's a celebration pack. I don't know. Maybe it's just how long it lasts. I'm not sure. Okay, so we got Perry's map. Okay, can we get something to finish this one out? Like a bonfire. Come on, man. Come on, man. Even a Dempsey. Give me a Dempsey, right? Give me a Dempsey instead, right? If you're not going to give me bonfire, give me Dempsey. I would like at least one. So I can play around my battle on boxers a little bit. Earthbound's going to love the new guy. Earthbound. Uh, what new guy? Forever. That's you know what? That's fine. That had to happen eventually. That's fair. That you know what? It had to happen. It had to. Two yards in this one. That's okay. What deck do we want to tackle first? Probably Unchained, I would say. Unchained is the one I'm most curious about. Uh the rest of them I sort of have in the back burner. We're gonna we're gonna sort of come to those as we come come along. Uh, I just wish I wasn't so goddamn busy this weekend, but I will be making content on the new decks for sure. Okay, what do we get? First you are the pack. What do we got? Come on. I mean, I did say Dempsey instead of Bonfire if you were going to give me a UR. That's true. I did say that. Lab Tier Elements is here on the list. Yeah. Uh, lab Tier... It's going to take a bit of a backseat because I have a lot of other shit I want to do. But Lab Tier Elements is a deck I'm definitely going to cover. For sure. Uh, skip pack and they give us Little Knight. Ooh, SP? Ooh, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that'd be fun. You want to do Unchained Lab? Yeah, Unchained Lab is probably going to be one of the best decks in the game. I, I really do think it is. Uh, shorter stream? Uh, I mean, three hours. Uh, it's not going to be, like, too much shorter. It's going to be three hours long. So it's not, you know, it's not as if we're just showing up and then dipping. We're going to play, we are going to play some games. Got Hita. Don't we still have to... Cr oh, I've only got one Yama, too. Fuck. I would really like two or three Yama. Uh, okay, but there's, there's our third Hita. <laughs> if he does not have a... If SP Pack does not have a deck, I'm interested in just crafting it. Yeah, that's fair. That's very fair. That's probably the best way to go about it. If it's just a singular card. Okay, we got that Emperor. 
Uh, well, yeah, we can, yeah, on, in the gameplay, we can go through it, yeah. If you guys have suggestions or plays while we're actually playing, I'll read. I'll, I'll, I'll take advice. But we'll leave it till we're actually in the games. Oh? Oh, wait, wait, hang on. This was, no, this wasn't the guarantee. Was this a guaranteed UR? I can't, I can't even remember. It might have been. I think it was. I, th I think this was guaranteed UR, yeah. Okay. Ah, oh, unfortunate. Oh, Yama, though. Oh, that's a really good, uh, that's a really good one. Okay, yeah, I wanted um, two or three copies of this, so that's, that's good. I really like that. <laughs> Five yards, holy shit. Okay. Um, it definitely does some burn. I don't know if it does that. Does it do that? Did I misread it? Damn, that sounds pretty fucking, pretty dope. What? I mean, inevitably, we're going to be playing uh, Volcanics, so, you know. Yeah, no, the only reason it's not a four-hour stream is because, um, well, I slept in. <laughs> That's it. I wish I had a better reason for you. <laughs> Want to see Unchained gameplay? Yeah, well, I mean, I'm going to play it. You're going to see gameplay. I don't know how it works either. We're gonna learn together. That's our goal. That's it. That's all we're doing here today. We're gonna learn how to play some of the new cards. Uh, we're gonna start with Unchained. We might switch it up to another deck as well. Um, but like I said, this is gonna be a little bit of a shorter stream, so we we might not have time to switch to another deck. Another Butler. I don't know if that's good or not. That may be my third. I'm definitely, before we get into any gameplay, my fucking dumbass is going to go and get some water. Jesus Christ, my throat is dry after fucking 40 minutes of talking. I'm not going to survive three hours without some water. So, <laughs> we're going to finish these packs, and then I'm going to go get some fucking water, and I'll be back. <laughs> I didn't even have time to go and get my monster. I've got nothing. I've got nothing. I woke up at 3 p.m. I'm like, ah, we need to go live at 4 p.m. I need to go make a thumbnail. I need to get the stream ready. I need to do all of this. Haven't had a second. Couldn't even get my monster. I'm pissed. I'm pissed. We're only at 50% power. Last pack. Let's see. Uh, most unchained list play Dark Contract. Yeah, I've got that in mind. I've got that in mind. Uh, Dark Contract plus the... Okay, Dark Order is a nice little SR at least. You know what? That's fine. A nice humble end to an other ways very fruitful pack opening. It's hard to be mad. I think we got pretty lucky there. I think all in all, that went pretty well. I think all in all, that went pretty well. It's hard to be annoyed. Um, Probably just two for the most part. So we're going to go to here. What do we get? We need to craft one of you and one of you. So this is the current deck list that I sort of threw together about 20 minutes before the stream. I don't know how good it's going to be. This is just sort of like a rough idea as to what I wanted to try. Uh, we are going to dismantle a bunch of cards here just to sort of see what our what our loot was, per se. Forbidden. We're going to go just URs for now. I don't need to dismantle SRs. Okay, so we got five, five Volcanic Emperors. <laughs> Seven Unchained Abomination. Oh shit, I'm putting them into my deck. That's dumb. Hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not not the intention. Not the intention, Jeeve. Uh, I'll keep two of you. I'm not playing this. Uh, throw one of you away. You can go, you can go, you can go, you can go. Da, da, da. Yeah, I think that's it. And then there's some more of these that I probably... I don't know if I'm going to keep, like, for example, three Hita, three Emperor. I can probably drop... Emperor down. I don't think I'm ever going to play three of this card. Um, Hita, I don't know if I'm going to keep this card. It's neat, but I don't know. I, I, I just don't know how many decks it's going to be practical to be used in. It'll be good at Volcanics, at least, so I will keep it for now, and then we'll see. So we got 200 URs, which is awesome. Uh, that is enough for our third Yama. That's enough for three Bonfires. And it might be enough for Turgate. I don't think it is, though. No, I think we're just a little bit shy. Two Yama's enough. It's fine. I'll 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 play the three. It's fine. Yeah, no, I was yeah, that's that's sort of what I was thinking. I was talking about that. I was actually talking about that specific play earlier. So I was. I was talking about that specifically. 
Um, let's go back to Smantle. See if we can if we can get tour guide, maybe. Okay, let's see. I think I'm gonna go to Hita. I don't really. I'm not super sold on this card. I'm not super sold on it. I'm really not. Uh, you. How many do we need? Tour guide. We got fifty. 60, 90, so that's tour guide. Oh, true. You are going to be fiend locked, I guess. Yeah, you're going to be fiend locked. Fuck. True, 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 true. Okay, what, what are we uh, what are we playing instead of IP then? What are we playing instead of IP? So we just um, look for fiends, I guess? Let's go for Fiend. Where's Fiends? Here. Fiend, and we want Fusion. Well, not Fusion. So, um, or even Synchro, really. It's just really Exceed and Links is all we're concerned about. Uh, Nightmare Griffin's an interesting idea. Oh, okay. A lot of people saying... So we're, we're stuck between Griffin and Goddess. Griffin and Goddess is where we're stuck. Okay. So what we can do is we can we can meet in the middle there. We can play both. It's gonna give me fucking yeah we can play both of these right because you're both fiends yeah you're both fiends and then we can drop one card probably the stone king i mean i yeah i don't really know if i like the idea of griffin i'm, I'm gonna stick with i'm gonna stick with goddess for now i'm gonna stick with goddess for now um two wave king two wave king will probably is it probably gonna be the way honestly i might drop darius for a second wave king down the line but we'll see swap oppo oppo that is fair, yeah, we are gonna be fiend lock. Yeah, that is that is a very good point. True, true, true. And we need tour guide, so we wanted to play tour guide in the main. Uh do I wanna cut stuff for it or do we just wanna play it at 42? Let's just play it at 42. Let's play it at 42 for now. We'll see what happens. Yeah, let's do this. Okay. Now we got to get dripped out. The most important part, obviously. Obviously, the most important part is getting dripped. Uh, you know, I've never played these sleeves. I think I'm going to play with these. No, we got we to be thematic with it. We, we got we to gotta look the part, man. We gotta look the part. Give me something dark. Yeah. If we're gonna be playing fiends, we gotta play fiends, right? Mass <laughs> temperature is forever. Exactly. See, someone gets it. Someone gets it. Reino and Sangan? Um, I don't know if I wanna go that deep. Jesus. We'll see, though. Talent to steal Apollosa. I mean, you could. Yeah, that, that's actually a good point. Uh, maybe. Butler is good in Unchained for, like, yeah, like Lab Unchained. I would imagine so, yeah. Why, why do we need them? The winner of the Las Vegas Regional wasn't playing them. Okay, so prison to Shivara. Oh, okay. that's not a good start. Um, Rhino sends the fire six to set the trap for deck. Okay, let me see. Oh, I suppose yeah. It doesn't say from field or anything. It's just sent to the grave. Hmm. Doesn't Turgate? Doesn't Turgate negate the card it summons? Am I wrong? I thought that negated the card that it summoned. I thought we were only using Turgate for the Yama. Or does Reino maybe mill on being sent to Grave? What, what exactly? Okay, I'll I'll read the card after. Um, I'll read the card after. We'll see what happens. Let me see. So we've got... Damn, it's been so long since I played on Chant. Holy shit. 
Right, uh, so I'm assuming we want to grab the Aurora. Let me see. Anyone's evaded into the Discord. You can join if you want. It's in the description. Uh, Aurora. Set this, and then we're going to activate you. We're going to pop the un uh, Escape of the Unchained. All right, get popped. Escape of the Unchained is going to summon a card back from deck. Uh, maybe after the stream. We're just going to learn. We're just going to play it and learn. We summon Sarama here, I would imagine. God, it's been a long time. Then Unchained Twin Sarama, we're going to pop the... We're going to bring back the trap card. We're going to pop the Aurora. Because whenever you're destroyed, you summon another Unchained. Yep, you do. Perfect. Activate this. Uh, I actually don't know the card's full name. It's been a it's been a minute since since I've seen it. So we special summon one of these guys. So do we go for the water dude? Because the Rocky it doesn't do much for us here. So we probably want to go for the Unchained Soul of Shama, right? Because this guy brings itself back from the graveyard. Talking a few monster fist on card you control while it's in the graveyard, and then you special summon this card back. Yeah. So we we almost certainly want to use this guy, right? Yeah, I would imagine so. Let's do this. Guys, uh, you can target one card you control, destroy it, then destroy one spell or trap on the field. Yeah, that's not necessary right now. Yama, when this card special summon out an Unchained monster from deck or graveyard to hand. We've not normal summoned yet. That is worth noting. <laughs> we have not normal summoned. Uh-huh. Destroy a card in the field. Okay, that's interesting. So we go into. Do we even go into Yama here? Maybe do we not just go like Unchained Soul of Rage? Maybe this Yama. I know Yama probably is is designed to grab this guy, right? But like we've already got him. You know what I mean? Okay, we're gonna go Shivara. We're gonna pop the Sarama. Bring this guy out. Then we're gonna go Sarama. We're gonna grab Rakia from the deck. If you're gonna be doing it with the tour guide, I would imagine you only run one, yeah. Okay, perfect. Then we're gonna use two for Yama. We're gonna send this card here. Uh, it's this card sent to the graveyard. Yep, so we'll send you and you to the grave. I, I'm fairly certain it's an SR at least, yeah. I, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be a UR. I, I'm I'm fairly certain. So Yama and Shavara is gonna activate. Okay, we're learning. We're gonna set a card. I guess we set the chamber. Do we set the chamber? And then Rocky is gonna be able to pop a card. I guess we set chamber. Add a card to hand. We're gonna add. We've already got this guy in hand, so we don't really, really need to search for it. And I've yet to normal summon. So, I mean, Unchained Solar. So this guy, now we've used his effect on field. So now we send him to the grave for Soul of Rage, right? We just link him off, basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tamer's fine. Relax. We're fine. Relax. Target a fiend, monster, or fist, and card you control. Destroy it and do special summon this card from the grave. Uh, we could do that. I don't see a lot of point in doing it, though. Not yet. 
I'm going to normal summon Rakia just to have it on uh, on point, just in case we need to. Like, do an emergency pop or something like that. It's pretty... That, this, okay, this is a good start. Pop Chamber with Shyama. What would be the need for further plays? Like, what would we be doing? So, we would pop... This for Shyama. Shyama comes back. Chamber summons another monster. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I get it. That's that's it. I get it. I get it. I'm with you. I'm picking up at your button down. That's cringe. That's very cringe. Uh, damn. This card feels destroyed by battle card effect. I'll get a few monsters in grave and add at the hand. Um... Yeah, this is really annoying. Fuck. This is okay. Whoever does and Regeki would suck against Unchain. Yeah, they would. It would not work. Yeah, I don't know why people would be telling you not to do that. Okay, we'll get one of these back to hand. Scrap back you, I guess. Especially summon a few monster from your hand or graveyard and destroy a card you control. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Uh, there's not enough time here. I'm, I'm not really sure where I'm going with this. Okay. So, special summon. Oh, I get special summon you back? Oh. Oh shit, that's awesome. Nice. Yeah, Blue Dog is back. Damn, that's awesome. Yeah, 133 people. That is a new record. Holy shit. I didn't even realize so many people were here watching me fumble my way through a fucking combo. <laughs> Love it. Uh, yeah, there's definitely a really good pack. I think because Maxi and Chien can't play in the Maxi. They, yeah, well, I mean, kind of. They, um, they play in the Maxi better than a lot of decks do, to be fair. Because uh, they can just set back row and pass, and then they can make plays on your opponent's turn. I think I think Unchained can actually play pretty well in the maxi, all things considered. Okay, so Endymion comes out. <laughs> all right, okay. So I guess we're just gonna do this. All right, yeah, bye. He did not know I only had two seconds. <laughs> all right sick well uh <laughs> i'll take it i didn't uh i didn't connect the dots with the shiama card now i know that now i know that play got it nice 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 okay now we know that now i know where we're going with that that's that's huge that's huge that's huge right let's go again Thank you very much, Mega Boy. It's nice to see people actually in and enjoying the content, which is like the main thing. Nice to see so many people here. Uh, we are gonna continue learning here. Oh, um, okay. I think we can make this work, right? So what do we do from right? Okay, so we we obviously use this to grab the pendulum guy. Yeah, you should never... Yeah, don't don't surrender for no reason. If you make a mistake, just fucking play the game. Because this is still a decent chance you win. Uh, we played pretty poorly there, but it still worked out. No, I would have been fine. It's a, Yeah, I would have been fine. You can target one card you control. Okay, so the line from here... What is... Summon this guy... Summon Machine X. Is that your name? You mean the Vice King? Oh, wait. What? You can just summon Machine X off of this guy? God. God. Fucking damn. What? Hang on. Make Machine X, Normal Aurora, and make Yama. Is there a reason as to why we do Machine X first? 
that I don't know why we're doing that. Why are we doing Machine X first? Um, when you've heard your hang on. No, so we're not doing Machine X first. We're just doing we're so the Requiem, right? Okay. Oh wait, what? Oh, oh, it's to get rid of the... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's to get rid of... Yeah, yes, yes. You're 100% right. You're 100% right. True, true, true. I didn't see that. I didn't see that initially. That's my bad. So it's literally... It's just to get him off the field. Once per turn... Wait, why, why, why can I... What is your effect? Oh, it's probably this guy's effect. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. We're learning. Now we know. Now we know. Now we know. Good stuff. Now we're going to go Yama. So, Yama, we grab the... The... This one, right? Do we? Hmm. I don't know if that's... I don't know if that's right. So we can target, so hang on, target an Unchained card in your graveyard, set it to your field, and destroy a card you control, right? But I have a normal summon, so I can't even summon this guy out. Um, Aurora, we can still special summon this. But again, it doesn't do much. Uh, yeah, okay. Add the hand. Hmm. Okay. Right, we're gonna need to work on this line. We're gonna need to, to to get the grips with this one. Yeah, that didn't do anything. Okay. Well that didn't work. That's fine. Well now we know. So what was the what was the correct position there then? Definitely maxi in draw so that we don't get hit with uh talent or something. And before it's lab, actually, maybe, and you know what, we really shouldn't be shotgunning Maxi in a potential lab meta, but it worked out. Okay, so what are we... So if we've got just Yama... What do we do with the Yama? So Yama searches a monster. Yama... Would have been nice to have it and any of our Unchained back row. Any of our Unchained back row would have been nice there. Okay. It's a lot of cards, my guy. He has not searched off of Unicorn yet. Are you playing around Droll? Is that what you're doing? Okay, we're gonna ask this. Yeah. Okay, so obviously that that Yama line didn't work. Uh, this card special something you can add on chill monster in your deck or graveyard hand. This if a card you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, while this card's in your graveyard, you can banish this card. Special summon one fiend monster from your hand or grave. I kind of feel like we need at least one of the back row to make that kind of thing work. You know what I mean? I think that's sort of what, what, what we were missing there. I think Droll will be back in the meta now, Bonfire. True. Actually, yeah, Bonfire does make Droll a lot better. It, it makes, yeah, it does. It makes Droll a lot better. Okay, so now we can do a couple of things. So Yama Chain Link 1, then Unchain Soul Chain Link 2. 
Yeah, because we set a trap and then we pop the trap. So we set a skip of the Unchained to the field. Then Unchained Soul comes out. We'll special summon any of these guys, really. Then we pop... Hang on. Pop the trap, yeah. Pop the rear with Machinix. And Machinix has the ability to pop something. What? Machinix has text on it? Let's put a chain. Wait, what? It doesn't have the ability. To oh, the, the Rec... Oh, the Requiem probably had that ability, right? Requiem, let's return. You can target a card in the field. Shuffle the Dark Contract and Field of Grave into the deck. Ah, Requiem does that. I'm with you. Okay, great. I'm picking up... A okay, that works out. Now we know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. We're, okay, right. We're, we're, we're piecing it together. Slowly but surely. You attacked with Unicorn first, right? Nah, he attacked with that one. Fuck. Could we just go for the Abominable Unchained Soul here? Uh, just to pop the... Just to pop something. For now. I think that's all we really need to do. Drop cross out, don't really need it. Uh, we can pop anything we want, really, here. Can I want to pop Unicorn? Uh, so not Unicorn, sorry, Burf. Because he can still attack with the Unicorn here. So I think I'm just going to get rid of Burf. And just kill his grand game a little bit. I mean, buddy, I'm just going to get to summon more Unchained shit. What are you doing? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? I don't want to summon Unchained Soul of Disaster here. No, let's definitely do this guy. Uh, can Unchained summon Skull? Pff, probably. Actually, yeah, they're level 6s. I could see Unchained summon, su summon Skull being a thing. I could see that. <laughs> uh, Silvira, does he have Silvira? I thought he grabs the... He does have Silvira, yeah. Okay. That's fine. Ooh, dude, that's a nice draw. That's a nice draw right there. Uh, talk about a card you control, destroy it, and then you can destroy a spell or trap in the field. Okay. So, we'll normal summon Rocky, yeah? The Silvira, it just negates, right? It doesn't actually destroy or remove in any way. Right? Related card, Silvira. Negate its effects. Okay. Right. So I'm going to activate Unchained Twins. We're going to pop the back row. He's going to Silvera Negate. He's not going to Silvera Negate. All right. That makes sense. Let me see. Okay. Unicorn going to banish a card. That's okay. We have lost our Abomination already. It does have a graveyard effect, yeah. Um, where you can you can negate a card used in response to a Snake Eye or Diabell Star card. I just try, I was just kind of trying to beat it out. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I wasn't expecting to for him to let me do this. Okay, let's go Shivira, I guess. I mean, he has to use it now. Like, <laughs> if he doesn't, it's, it's one of those use it or lose it type situations, really. Okay, yeah. I love that it doesn't target. Like, the, the, the back row pop is non-targeting. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so that's fine. Shyama negated. That's okay. That's all part of the plan. I just wanted that card gone. Forever. Sending Poplar, gonna summon another Diabell Star. So this negates a card in response to a Diabell Star or a Sinful Spoil Spell or Trap. Okay. So as long as I don't activate anything in response to this dork, we're fine. Overlay for an Omni. What? An Omni in the form of. 
We have king. What? We could go goddess here. I kind of liking the idea of goddess a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Kind of want to go Yama and the goddess. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Anchin, Soul Lord of Yama. Yeah, so that's it. So then we've got this guy. He sets up another back row, which is awesome. She Link Summon an Unchain Link Monster. Oh, I guess we could probably actually play. No, let's let's uh, play this. At the hand. Fuck, man. We need to move faster. Fuck. We're learning, buddy. Stop putting the timer on us. We're learning. We're reading cards. Chill. Jesus Christ. I'm going to grab a skip of the Unchained. I'm going to pop you. I'm going to use you. I'm going to grab Disaster. You know what? We're not going to do anything super fancy. We're going to go Disaster with the Unicorn into Soul of Rage. And we're just going to take out one of these Dio Bellstar. And we're just going to chill. That's fine. This is totally fine. What did he set last turn? Oh, wanted. Oh, that's nothing. Okay, that's fine. Wanted is nothing. You're on, buddy. I've never lost a time in my life. Many a many a moon I have spent playing Thunder Dragons. I am familiar with what the underside of the timer looks like. Um Yeah, I've got Muckraker in here. Okay, we got Dia Bell Star. That's okay. Poplar activates, gonna play a fire monster into the back row. Then we got the Abel Stars going to grab the original sinful spoils. Yeah, Makuro, we got we got McGregor, yeah. I'm just very aware of my toggle here. I'm just trying to keep toggled off. They're gonna go for sinful spoils here. Okay, okay, okay. Can't add sinful spoils? Yeah, you can. Oh! Silvira. True. Hmm. We will get negated. True, 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 true. Ah, I nearly fell for that. That was close. Your effect once per turn. Use each effect once per turn. Okay, that's fair. Uh, I'm gonna ask you then. Fuck it. Fuck it. Oh, that's cringe. Okay, that's annoying. Uh, sure. Link it. Link off the ash. Yeah, actually, yeah, that's a good play. I'll do that. Yeah, popping it would be nice, I think. 
I think I'm going to link it off, though. I think you're right the first time. I think linking it's going to be good. Because then we can hold on to the escape for our turn, right? In case things go well. <laughs> oh, you can summon Muckraker off of that? Oh, that could be could be good in terms of, like, uh, destruction protection. Hmm. I like it. Unicorn for I don't have a discard. I don't have any cards in hand to discard. Um, otherwise, I'd take you up on that. Yeah. For sure. Okay, then we can use this here. Uh, fuck. Oh, wait, that's a Snake Eyes spell! Oh, fuck! No! I forgot that's still technically a Snake Eyes spell card. He's got Red Reboot? Never mind, what the fuck? <laughs> He's got fucking Red Reboot? Are you, are you silly? The fuck is that, man? That's dumb. That's so dumb. Whatever. Whatever. What a fucking dirtbag. Oh, yeah, okay, right, hang on. Uh, yeah, you're right, hang on. So I was right, I was right to respond, okay, I, I was correct. He just happened to have Red Reboot. <laughs> right, okay. Okay, so I, I made the correct play, but he just happened to have the eye. All right, I can live with that one. That's what we'll, that's what we'll tell people. That's what we'll tell people. That's the story we're going to go with. <laughs> okay, Promethean Princess. Uh, I don't really have a lot that I can do about this. I'm not going to lie. And by not a lot, I mean exactly fucking nothing. Oh. Uh, he's just gonna go Ash, Sand, fucking Flamberge, Four of Flamberge, and. God damn it. <laughs> um, it's winnable, for sure. It's just gonna be very tough. It is for sure winnable. Just tough. Okay. So we're going to go Poplar back to the field. Flamberge going to revive two. Wait, don't you only have two? Oh, he's got two Poplars. Okay, that's fair. Well, hopefully he fucks up and chooses the same target as the other one, but probably not. Yeah, he didn't. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> Okay, gonna send itself and Poplar to the grave. Yup. Yup, yup, yup. Target one Unchained Monster you control and one card on the field. Destroy both. If this set card is destroyed, okay, you're gonna send Yama to the back row. Interesting. Okay. Are you gonna what? Swing in at me? Oh, Zilantis. Okay. What does that do for him? Uh, not in the back row, I can't. It says an unchained monster. This is technically a spell. No. Two pop in the battle phase. Is it gonna be two pops in the battle phase? I don't know if that's right. I don't know with, with where he summoned it. I don't think that is going to be the, I mean, unless he like Link summons twice. It says target one unchained monster you control and one, I guess if we're talking about using this as the second target, maybe pop one of my monsters and this. But I couldn't like pop this and one of his, right? But I could, I could definitely like pop one of mine and pop this. If I really wanted this in the graveyard, this could be the second target, just not the first. Um, which is not 
a play without merit, to be fair. Oh, princess. Oh, yeah. Princess. Forgot about that. Kind of just link with his fields. Uh, no, Anguish only works during my turn. The blue dog works on his turn. The red dog works on my turn. Um, I mean, sure. Do I get to summon stuff? Yeah, I do. That's yeah, I do. That's, that's, that's what I thought. Uh, we're gonna target you. Oh, we're really low on time. Back to hand. Perfect. You're going to summon this. Defense. Toggle off. Uh, we're going to survive. Just toggle off for now. Toggle off. Don't need to do anything else. This is fine. I didn't realize that was still going to prompt me. That was almost... Uh, that was almost death. Okay, linking to into Sunlight Wolf. All right. He, um... Yeah, it can be, for sure. All right, Amphius. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> Abominable soul jump scare. <laughs> Abominable soul jump scare for real. God damn. <laughs> All right. Let's go with this. Okay, let's uh let's make plays. Ah, fuck. I, don't, I really don't have much. I really don't have much, man. We just gotta fucking... We just gotta fucking play, man. We just have to play. Red Link into what? I don't have any of my, um, I don't have any of my Link 4s. He banished them all from my extra deck. Okay, perfect. Pop you and you. Yeah, but, but we, but we can't. Anguish doesn't get you that. Because it's only a link two. I would, it would only count as like a link one in the situation for a link three. It wouldn't work. <sighs> Fuck. Uh huh. Yep, yep, yep. That's fine. So we got Flamberge. Bring back Ash, bring back Oak as well. God damn it, man. He's playing more on my turn than I am. Absolutely, Ash Weenie's got the right idea there, if you're enjoying it. <laughs> Not the smoothest gameplay so far, but we'll uh We'll figure it out. I'm not sure. I mean to be fair, we don't have any like Unchained monsters left in deck. Like, we're in a tough spot. This is not good for us. I don't really think we have anything left in deck. I'm going to be honest. 
Uh, you can target a fiend, monster, or a fist and card you control. Yeah, fuck it. Uh, yeah, none of these fucking do anything, man. Yeah, he got us. He got us. Unfortunate. Oh, dear. Yeah, no, it's a tough one. Okay, so we, uh, what do we learn from that game? So it's important whenever you're learning a new deck that you focus on what you could have learned from every game that you had. And the play that we learned from that was the Vase King Requiem's effect. So it was. So we learned how to use the Vase King Requiem's effect in those types of triple D situations, which is good. So that, that part we now, we taken away from that game and we know what's going on, which is good. So we're getting better. It's a pretty good hand. 150 live, yep, absolutely. It's an awful lot of people. Welcome everyone to the stream. Hope we're all having fun. Uh, let's get some fucking plays going, my guys. So we're gonna go skip the Unchained. I'm fairly certain because we've already got we've already got shawarma. We've already got shawarma. Um, we've got I uh, got like a pop target, right? So I guess we just probably want to grab Escape of the Unchained. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because we can just you know pop this shit right away. Wheeling of the Unchained could realistically just be a different. I mean, I, I guess the different names help. Having multiple names does help. So we summon this. Oh, okay. Ash would have sucked. So we get special summon a monster from deck. We're going to summon the Unchained Shul of Shiyama. Yeah. Yeah. Yup, yup, yup. That's right. Again, if you're watching, take two seconds. If you want to hit the, hit the like button. You know, it doesn't hurt. Okay, so now we're going to go into the Unchained Soul Lord, right? Because this guy brings himself back from Grave. You set up another card, and then we can grab the Aurora to pop the trap. And then we use the trap to summon Sarama. Sarama then brings back the trap, pops the Aurora, and then we summon another level 6. And then we also grab our level 6 from Grave, and then we have Wave King as well. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure Arius is a dude. Am I wrong? Isn't the butler a dude? I think he's. I think he's a. I think he's a guy. Okay, we're gonna set chamber. Right, you're gonna summon a or add a card to hand, which is gonna be this one. Haven't committed our normal summon yet. Shwarma, yeah, it's the best one. Um, activating Aurora here. All <laughs> that room stuff. I, no, I don't think that's true. I, I think the butler's a dude. I'm fairly certain. Okay, we're going to go Chamber. Chamber special summons Sarama. Use the... Blue level 6 to make Rage, then pop Sarama to revive it. Hang on, sorry. Use the blue level 6 to make Rage. Pop Sarama. Oh, so not... Okay, right, so not this guy. Got it, okay. Discretion your graveyard target of Right. So we act Hang on. Like the unchained card in your graveyard, set it different. Hang on, right. I want to make sure I don't get this to get it wrong this time. Right. So blue level six. Pop Aurora here to summon the blue level six. Okay. We have no 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 the blue level six is already in my graveyard. That's what I'm trying. That that's what's confused confusing me here. Because this sets to the field, right? Set it to your field. We've already got the blue level six engraved. 
So that's not going to work. Uh, that's fine. So we'll do this. Pop the Aurora. Uh, this still, this still kind of works. So we go for this to grab our other level 6. Don't we just grab the red one? Yeah, and then we just do these two in the rage, and then we just go in the Wave King Caesar. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that works out. Hell yeah. Because we use this guy. We pop the Saram Sarama. Yeah. Because we've already used this. Oh, we could have set escape and did it that way. Oh, but I would rather have escape on field, to be fair. I kind of like having escape on field. So, it, yeah, that's fine. And then we special summon from deck. Pretty much anything, right? Anything that we want in rotation. This card is special summoned from your... Wait, if this card is special summoned, discard a card. Okay, so I can actually summon you. And then Yama and you go in the rage. Summon Rakia. Use it for rage. Oh, fucking... <laughs> It's the same thing. It's fine. Just a little too slow. Uh, but it's all good. So we use these two for rage. And then we chill in. But the blue it is only if you want to use your opponent's monsters. So it is. Okay, right, that's fine. He um, obviously doesn't know about the Wave King tech. I'm fairly certain that's a nib, but he doesn't know about the Wave King. So it's fine. Yeah, this is dope. This is pretty good. I like this. This is a lot better than last time. On the opponent's turn. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah, but I was thinking because I have Chamber, I can bring it back from my graveyard. Um, or even Yama, I guess, is, is another option. Yeah, there's, there's a bunch of options. Um, that's cringe. What are you going to target? Caesar? You have to target Caesar. You have to. Oh, no. <laughs> He's targeting the dog? He's targeting the dog. Interesting. Uh, who's the main boss monster? Uh, well, there's a few. Uh, the actual like archetypal boss monster is the Unchained Abomination. Um, who's amazing, right? But there's also Wave King Caesar, which is really good. And then Rage is even just really good removal as well. So there's a few really good ones. It's not a traditional summon your boss monster type deck. Um, it's more about sort of like a resource game. Okay. Fucking did have Nibiru. I knew it. Why didn't he nib me? Oh, he must not have had Imperm. I think he just, I think he literally just drew into the Imperm. Uh, that would make sense. So we're going to wait until this resolves. Oh, that's cringe. Very cringe. Right, okay. Um, yeah, okay. What we're going to do is we're going to... Oh, shit, you're negated. Oh, I forgot. Oh, shit. I forgot it's negated. Um, shit. This is fine. We're gonna go for this. Fuck. <laughs> um, we're also gonna go for Maxi here. The blue link's negated. I forgot. It, he imperned it at the start of the turn. I was gonna blue link to fucking uh, link off of the DFL star. Um, but like this was definitely just the way instead. Uh, we can add unchained monsters from Grave back to hand. I think I will, yeah. Just for like a bunch of follow up. Crazy amount of follow up here, actually. So we grab back you for a start. And then Yama's gonna grab me back Sarama. And then we're fucking Gucci, right? Like, worst case scenario, all of this is just extra discard fodder for my abomination, which I'll. Oh, I summon?
Oh, I didn't know I got the sum. Well, I thought you added the hand. Oh, that's my bad. Oh, shit. God damn. I thought you added the hand. I'm all cans are wrong then, huh? <laughs> I'm all cans are wrong. <laughs> shit, man. That's pretty, uh, it's pretty sick. Got poplar. Yeah, go for it. Okay, yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're learning as we play. That's the way to learn. That's the way to learn. That's how we do it. Get fucked. Nice. Love to see it. Love to see it. Okay, we're, we're getting better. We're learning. We're getting it. We're getting it. We're getting it. That felt good. That felt really good. That felt very good. Um, I know it hasn't come up yet, but like, we needed that Rhino card, right? This? Uh, let me see. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can send a fiend monster from deck to grave. Yeah. Uh, and you're two fiends. So we need we need this. I hear us here. If we're if we're all learning it as a team, then that's all good. Suits me. <laughs> um, I really don't want to. I cut imprint down to two. I don't want to play more than 42 cards. I don't want to play more than 42. Uh, yeah, you send. Yeah, you do. I mean, both of these are really good sends off of it. Yeah, so you send. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm with you. I'm with you. So these two go into Yama. Uh, Yama searches for a, I would imagine, Aurora. And then while this card sets a back row. Rocky at a two? I think Rocky is fine at three. I think it's fine. Turn of the Mac, finish peeling the whole way. Um, we're going well. We're learning. We're piecing it together. I think Rocky had a one? Man, we were running really low on resources in some of those games. Um, I can, I'll cut it to two for now, and I'll play a third in perm. I like the 42 deck count. I like the 42 deck count. Yeah, we've got tour guide. Turga is like a closest thing this deck has to a one card combo. Uh, let's go first. Gotta make, gotta stop snake eyes before they make a board. Yeah, I mean, so the reason I like, um, the reason I like Ghost Spell over Veiler is. Ghost Spell is also really good against Snake Eyes. It stops things like Flamberge's effect. Flamberge's effect getting negated really puts a, a hold on their turn. Uh, but more importantly, it is good against Labyrinth. Um, it can negate Big Welcome, so it can. So that that's the reason I choose Ghost Spell over Veiler. Foolish Burial. Yeah, we could do Foolish Burial. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that is, yeah, that is in fact a card. True, true, true. True that. Put in talents. Nah, I like I like Bell. I like Bell just because it helps deal with Lab. I think talent doesn't do nearly enough against Lab. Good chain like I uh, love chain back their Flamberge if they have the ability to. Yeah, I would imagine they would. Shit. Um. Not ideal. I guess we just go... I'm playing a 60 card deck. Okay. All right, we're going to keep it chill. Summon this, unfortunately. I think we just rage pass here. Rage pass. It's unfortunate, but, you know, it is what it is. Okay. True. Yeah, that is also true. Protects from call by uh, and things like that. I just like I just like um Bell. Just Bell is better against Lap. That's the that's the reason. I think I've got enough to good cards to help deal with Snake Eyes, but I think the um, Lab matchup is pretty rough sometimes. I mean, I knew he drew a couple of cards, but it's a 60-card deck, man. I could have hoped, right? 
I could hope. <laughs> that it has Ayub, and I'm extremely thankful for it. You know, every, everybody watching is nuts. So we got Seeker, or Wanted, sorry. Or same thing, whatever. It's, <laughs> both, both words are in the name. They count. DPL Star the Black Witch. Spiral. Oh shit, this isn't even actually Snake Eyes. This is Spiral. <laughs> what? That's sick. All right, Diabelle Star the Black Witch. They're going to, I would imagine, set Subversion. Yeah, to force me to use my Unchained Soul of Rage. I, I fuck with it. That is fur. That is fur. Got something you want to say to that? You're such a scumbag. Ah! <laughs> what a dirtbag. Uh, 45 Unchained is fine, for sure. You can get away with that. Okay, so now we've got Anguish. Five cards in hand, Master Plan and Grave. This is not looking good. Six cards in hand, sorry. That's right. This fucking this this whole dual field is just infested with fucking roaches. Oh brother. God fucking damn it. Original Sinful's but Oh, I just realized the bonfire makes Snake Eyes so much more splashable. Oh, you son of a bitch. That's bullshit. That's some bullshit. Yeah, it is really cool. I'm liking it so far. I'm liking it. Even though we're not playing it optimally, I think it, there's a lot of learning that needs to be done, but it's a pretty good... That's a pretty cool deck. I like it. Um... Unchained Labyrinth is one of the ones that I think is going to be better, for sure. I think it's going to be really good. What are you going to search for? Hirakara, okay. I'm... I can't... I can't have to just pray that he doesn't have a normal summon. I just kind of have to pray he doesn't have a normal summon. He's playing Spiral, though. He 100% he does. Mm. Okay. You're going to... You add a card back to hand, don't you? Yeah. So we're going to add this back to hand. Perfect. Then we'll use Unchained Soul. That Labyrinth is fun. I like it. So he does get to draw an extra card, and but hopefully we can do something to put him behind here. So we're going to drop you to pop this. Then you'll set another card. Going to set Chamber. Okay. We've reset our board presence, but uh, we did give our opponent one extra draw, which is fine. I don't think that's the worst thing in the world. Oh, yeah, Kirakara. Fuck. I forgot about that. Forgot about that. If he, no if he normal summons quick fix, I'm leaving so fast. If he normal summons quick fix, I, I'm leaving so fast. Oh, <laughs> oh, come on. Don't do this to me. That's quick. Yeah, I'm out. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You got it. 
You got it. All right, I'm gonna get some fucking water. My throat is dry as a motherfucker. Right, here's the list. I'll be, I'm just gonna get some water. I'll be right the fuck back. All right, I have returned. I'm just setting the green screen up. While we're doing that, let's queue in. All right, let's go. There we are. Losing the coin toss, go fucking figure. Where's my webcam? Perfect. All right. Rhoda is not one. That is true. Uh, out of Monster Drag. I don't have any. I didn't have any. I didn't have time to go and get some today. I'm pissed. Oh, that's cringe. You thought about using a... A tooth copy of We Have Caesar for Grand. You can. It hasn't come up yet. Um, it hasn't come up yet, to be fair, but I mean, if it does, it's not a bad option. That's true. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is a fucking MBT would lose his damn mind over this hand. God damn. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, that he's done. Damn, it's almost as if Maxi's broken. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Lab Unchained is... Yeah, I mean, there's a bunch of Unchained variants that are going to be really strong. I'm planning on playing, like... Um, that'd be a full house, for sure. I'm planning on playing, like, Triple D as well. It's going to be fun. Going to grab this. Could King Cali work with Unchained? Yeah, you could make it work. You Could could you make it work, actually? Related cards, Kali Yuga. No, you couldn't make it work. I, I mean, you could... You could uh, you, I mean, you technically could make some alterations to force it to work, but you, it, it, you'd be forcing it. You would really be forcing it, and you would notice. You would notice that you were forcing it. Let's start with the tour guide. That's very cringe. How dare he do to me the thing that I did to him? Okay, I'm gonna summon you, I guess. Do we land and lab field spell? I mean, if you're playing lab, you could, but I mean, this this guy's pretty important for like regular old, um, unchained. Our music is still on, perfect. Do we play into this into the cockroach? Do we play into it? What are the what are the chances of, is chances of us surviving if I don't? Reinhardt and Grave. Fuck it, we ball. Fuck it, we ball. Let's see what happens. All right, we're gonna go Yama. 
we are definitely going to go Machinix, for sure. So we're just aiming for lethal damage. Just aiming for lethal damage. Let's just play. Sending a card to Grave, we're going to send the Red Dog. Yama, going to add a card to hand. We're going to add... Oh shit, I should have sent the Blue Dog and then... You know what? It's fine. We can add Aurora. This still works because the this will set a card here. Right there. Machinix with materials eats Kekalos. That is true. It does do that, actually. Yeah. Hmm. That's worth considering. Okay. Let's go Aurora. Gonna use this. Special summon from deck. You guys are kind of big, actually. Hang on. This could just be lethal damage right here. So 5, 6.578.8. Okay, is there like any restrictions on like you attacking or anything? No? Okay, so I can just swing, right? I can, okay. Thank God. <laughs> okay, just making, just making sure that like that was a dub. All right, cool. All right, we'll take a free one. Yes, sir. Easy dub. Sometimes you just gotta sand it. Damn, his hand must have sucked. This is a much more balanced hand. Unchained. <laughs> wait, uh, wait, which one? Do you mean Unchained Lab counters Unchained or Unchained counters Unchained Lab? We need to be specific here. I don't know what we're talking about. Okay, draw two, return one. Damn, imagining is such a good card. That <laughs> well, isn't that a familiar sight? Isn't that a familiar sight? Hmm. What tier is unchained? We don't know yet. It just came out. Uh it seems decent, but I don't I don't know where like where it is. Tier list. No worries, Makuro. See you later. Okay, so we're going to go Turgate. What's important to note is that we don't have to summon Rhino. We could just summon an Unchain Twin, right? Like... Um... Right? Like, I could just set the, sorry, summon Aurora here, or Rakia, Rakia. Yeah, let's just summon Rakia, right? Uh, I just want to test out a line. I just want to test something out. This might not work. This may be dumb, but let me just, you know, let me, let me see. So we're going to pop you for this. That'll trigger you to play... This from deck. Now we're going to go Abomination Prison. Yeah, 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 yeah. This works. This works. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Is that Drool? Oh, Drool. Okay. Drool. Drool is interesting. Because Drool stops Yama's effect? I guess I just go Rage. Yeah. It, it, you want under Drool? We just go Rage. So we're going to set this. Then we're going to play the Blue Dog. 
Um, I'm pretty sure it does. Does it not? Add one Unchained Monster from your deck or Graveyard. I guess we could have... Yeah, I mean, we could, we could have added one from Grave, but there was nothing really I wanted to add from Grave. Um, but yeah, I mean, you could have, for sure. Oh, wait, this would have been... Le wait, what does it have been lethal? Oh, it would have been 200 Chai, right? Okay. Right, so let's special summon out Sarama. I'm just gonna go Caesar here. Let me see. Sarama. Yeah, and the Sarama I'm just gonna use to reset my escape. Just pop itself. I don't need I don't yeah, that's fine. This is good enough. I think this is this is definitely solid. 28, 18. We maybe could have gone for a line through lethal, but uh, like I said earlier on, we're just trying to learn. Uh, we're just trying to learn lines. Uh, yeah, Chaos Ruler being gone hurts a lot of really fun rogue decks, so it's a little bit unfortunate that it's not legal anymore. But, you know, it's one of those things. That's cringe. I'm just gonna say it. Ooh, dear. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fun. That's fun and exciting. Okay, so this is... Sorry, what do you do? Do you use special summoning? Target a fiend monster and add it to hand. Okay, so this adds to hand. So I'm gonna add you. I guess I could have grabbed back tour guide. So you're going to play a card via stone. And you're going to grab me a dark contract. Okay. At least we generate a ton of resources off of this. But that still fucking sucks, man. Okay, we'll grab a contract. We'll set chamber. We'll grab back you. We still have interruption. We still have uh, a couple of forms of interruption, actually. So we do. Was it in Unchained that turns off adding and summoning? Good question. I don't know. Griffin, maybe were you playing against? I've I've no idea. It kind of uh, yeah. That's that's what I'm saying. I can pop the chamber with this guy for Abomination from deck, and then I'll have him on field as a as an escape target. So, like, there's, there's, that's what I'm saying. There's still plays to be had here. This is fine. There are still plays to be had. Yeah. Uh, I don't need the imprim this. Did you have Starfrost in hand? I'm pretty sure he revealed Star uh, Starfrost earlier. Starfrost would be annoying. Unless... Tryhard? I don't think he's playing... Um, he's not playing... Tri um, this is Monodium. He's playing Monodium, so he is. It's under my fucking nose. is bugging me. What the fuck? Probably streaming so soon after waking up. <laughs> um. Yeah, my Danger Dark World's just got some some big buffs. I, I'm I really planning on playing that deck very very soon. Do I do I want to get rid of this preemptively? I think I, I kind of do. I cannot. Because if I can stop this, I stop him from summoning Visas, and then even having a rival to bring a card back doesn't mean anything. I guess he can just use a rival to bring that. 
to bring this back. Yeah, they just bring this back. Fuck. All right, whatever. That is fine. Oh, uh, okay, Scar Claw Rival. Okay, yeah, I fuck with it. Okay, yeah, perfect. I'm glad he did it in that order. That, that was what I was planning on him doing, and then I realized that he didn't have to do it in that order, but he did it anyway, so it's fine, it worked out. It worked out. So now we summon this guy. So I wanted to put him in a position to where he's going to go negative as much as possible off of Astrolite. Because he can still go Astrolite here, right? That's the thing. He can still Astrolite. Uh, so I want to, to force him to go as negative as possible in using it. Which is what we're doing by forcing the... Um, uh, the Rykart onto the field, so we get rid of Starfrost, and now if he wants to go Astrolite, he has to go negative on the Rykart that he just brought back. So he loses his arrival for no reason. Unless he's got another arrival, in which case, fuck me, I guess. I'm- I'm- I'm sending you back. I'm sending- I'm sending you back. I will not allow it. <laughs> I was gonna say, are sending him back. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> okay, I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Uh, Y'all were saying about Sangan. Um, he can take it easily. Not through us, he couldn't. Not through everything that we were doing. Sangan. What good is Sangan to us again? What do you do? 1500 or less attack? The hand? Um, I guess searches for one of the twins. Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, it searches for one of the twins. Yeah, we can play him. I'm gonna take out Wailing. Oh, you can search Maxi, can't you? But you cannot activate cards or effects of cards to see in the influence that oh yeah you're right but yeah but it searches a hand trap so you know what it's fine yeah it searches a hand trap that that's good enough for me hey didn't put nick welcome we're doing pretty good i don't mind ranking up too much right now normally i don't like ranking up three master because you know, if I if I get the Master One accidentally, then I can't really make videos because people at Master One don't really play the game very well. <laughs> like they just they're just dicking around. They don't care. They just surrender easily or they run cheesy shit. So it's not the greatest for content. So I try to avoid Master One. But um, we're not gonna get the Master One in 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 the the, the short time that we have here. Dropping Dot Skipper. Oof, that's big. Oof, that's very big. Does Live Twins have synergy with Unchained? No, no, uh, no. Their extra deck monsters are fiends, which is good, but their main deck monsters are not. Their main deck monsters are... Are they fiends? Are they cybers? They might be fiends, actually. No, no, yeah, no, no, the original ones are fiends, right? It's the other ones that's cybers, the extender, the like level, level two, Dude, yeah, yeah, he's the Cybers version. No, yeah, yeah, no, that that should work, yeah. Go from rookie to plat one three days. Yeah, I don't, I don't doubt that at all, so Mill. I, <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> Circular Sigma, oof, oof, oof. It's a rough one. This is a rough one. Okay, Alan Bershon. Okay, this is a... Do you have a, a link to the list? No, I, I don't. But once you're done, again, I'll um I'll be making a video on it. This is just us playing around and testing and learning, right? This isn't like a finished list. Although it's, it's going well. It's going very well. Um, 
This is just us playing around and learning. Ladder is ridiculously easy. I mean, I'd imagine up the sort of plat, like late season platinum and stuff, I would imagine there's like gold into platinum and things I would imagine would be relatively easy. Um, Just because most sort of players find this late into the season, most players sort of worth their salt are already out of those ranks. If, if you're getting out of them, right? I mean, if you're a gold player, you're a gold player, you're going to stay in gold. That's fair enough, right? Um, but most people who are like going to get promoted are, are already promoted. Um, you bell is an interesting one. Whatever decks of good synergy with Unchained. Left wins Triple D is one that I had in mind. Probably a, a mimic, like a, a, a gimmick, sorry. But um, could be funny. Oh my god, this man's hand is insane. He said he has everything. I don't know if they're worth building, but I'm definitely going to build them. Just, I've got all the cards. They seem really fun. Um, so I think Volcanics are going to be a lot of fun. I'm definitely playing. The Volcanic Emperor seems like a really good card. He seems very, he seems like a very fun card. So I will be playing that for sure. Uh, there's a bunch of them. Evil Eye is one that was suggested to me earlier on. I really like that idea. Evil Eye Unchained. I really like that idea. Uh, Dark World Unchained. Dark World is another really powerful Fiend deck. Um, they don't have any inherent synergy per se. It's more so just that they don't step on each other's toes. Um, the, un the, the Dark World cards can put up a bunch of Fiend bodies, which is useful for your Yama, as well as just acting as cards on field to pop. Um, so there's a little bit of synergy, but it's, it's more loose than most other decks. Um, I'm not sure how it works either. It just seems like a really neat idea. Yeah, I gotta watch the pod. Yeah, we're coming to... Uh, we're in our last hour now. So this one's only a three-hour stream because it's 6 p.m. And I start work at 8 p.m. So I need time. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, so we'll be going until 7 p.m. That's that's when we're going to cut the stream short. Uh, we're going to go terahertz. Terahertz heat soul. God damn. Um... Man's has my man's has it all. Holy shit. Um, okay. Um, yeah, I'm working the whole weekend. Just just, just how it is. Someone's gotta do it. Lingaribo. It's actually annoying, but that's fine. We'll live. Okay. In terms of gas, uh, Soul of Disaster fucking sucks to have in hand. Soul of Disaster seems like a really... I don't think we need that card anymore. I think Soul of Disaster, I don't think it... I don't know. I don't know. No, it's, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's just... It's, it sucks to see in hand. It fucking really sucks to see this card in your hand. Uh, I'm gonna go Dark Contract with a Git. Uh, it, it's good. I see. I know it's value. So I do. Oh, you're just gonna send the aggregator and the Git, my dumbass, aren't you? Shit. Yeah, and I definitely don't have a play. <laughs> oh, he got us. He got us. He just goes to save for him here, and then I lose. Adventure Unchained. What the fuck is Adventure Unchained? What? Is that a real deck? That doesn't sound like a real deck. What? I'm very curious. You've got my attention, good sir. Deck to hand. Hmm. Okay. 
This is... It's gonna be a risky play. It's gonna be a risky, risky play, but we're gonna have to try it. We're gonna have to try. So we're gonna set this. And then we're gonna activate the twins. Now, the reason we got this twin in particular is because it destroys on activation in hand. There's no way you have all of that and just have maxi. That's that's bullshit. That's that's not that's not fair. That's not nice. You can't do that. We can't to see over him to get this. I can. He doesn't need to, though. Super factorial kills me. God fucking damn it. Shit. Shit. It happens. It happens. Alright. What are we looking at? I like the list. I think the list is fine. It's, um, Snake Eyes is good. I mean, we've had some matches against it. I think we're 50-50 against Snake Eyes. I think we, we've only faced pure Snake Eyes twice. We lost the first time and we beat it the second time. So, um, it's all right. Yeah, I don't know why they're not bringing it to Noir. I don't know. Like, I, I don't even really know what the card does, but like, Pearly needs the love. I, I'm just shocked that they brought out more support for the best two decks in the game. Like, what the fuck? For support, add play it since you don't need your normal summon. You can have a negate before your fiend locks yourself. That's true. That is very far. The old adage of just play one first is is more relevant in adventure decks than many. So, yeah, I, I fuck with it. Okay, gonna go Shizuku. Um, Sina playing Snake Eyes with Tear. Is that a thing that happens? Will Gimmick Puppet ever be full power? Probably. Um, I mean, didn't they just get a whole bunch of new support in the OCG? They're definitely, I mean, it's definitely gonna come the Master Duel or slash TCG eventually. That much can be virtually guaranteed. Okay, so two face downs to contend with. Not the greatest hand in the world, if I'm gonna be honest. Not the greatest hand in the world. We can definitely play it though. Like this hand is more than playable, for sure. Just don't. Just don't activate it. Just don't. Motherfucker. Knew he had it. Uh, we're gonna play a lot of cheat today. Probably not. I don't have enough time. Um, it's gonna require a lot of thinking and building, planning in that one. I wouldn't know what the well, I wouldn't know what it was doing. So you're gonna do that, motherfucker. Okay. Uh, we're gonna do this. Are you only? Yeah. Let's do this. I'm gonna discard Phoenix Reno. Non-targeting pop, which is awesome. It's an imperm. I, I mean, I just wanted it to eat something. Really, that, that's all I was worried about. Fair enough. That's one less card to think about. Phoenix Rhino, get surgeon. Uh, yeah, this is one of the decks that got some new support, for sure. Send to the graveyard. We're gonna send... Probably the blue dog, right? Yeah, let's send the blue dog. Let's 
set a skip. I'm going to activate the blue dog then. Pop the escape. Activate this. Yeah, we're going to clean out the silver back row. That's the plan. That is the plan. So we can go... I guess rock, yeah. He's just... He's going to draw a shitload of cards, but, you know, it is what it is. Hopefully he doesn't read. Oh, Veiler. Okay, that's fine. I wish that was a one, <laughs> once per turn, but it's not. Uh, I guess I could pop the blue dog, actually, to dodge the Veiler. You know what? Honestly, worth it. It is worth it, because I really just... There's only so many, like, super impactful cards you could have. Back row is one of them. The back row is one of them. So we force the mobilize, which is decent. Not really what I want that to happen, but it happens. I mean, I might as well destroy it. Set of badness. Rakia. Yeah. Gonna bring out another one. We can bring out Aurora. Question mark. Is there any point? Oh, you go. Oh, you went back to deck. Oh, I might as well summon this guy then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We could do Caesar. Yeah. I'm kind of thinking though, if we go to Yama, what does Yama do for us? Yama searches. No, it doesn't seem to really do much of anything. Okay, that's fair. But just go Caesar for now, then. Alright. Into the battle phase. Swinging with Caesar. That'll trigger Ray. But that is okay. Sending Rose to Grieve. That's fine. Pretty sure we can negate here? Yeah, we can, because we negate the activation of the effect. Okay, then we detach you. And then we get Bonfire Royal. We did not, unfortunately, no. Uh, we didn't actually pull any copies of Bonfire. I had to craft them all. It sucked. Break out of the face. Be in phase two, set a card. Machinix would actually go kind of hard. No, it's fine. It's fine. Just leave it as it is for now. Okay, so we've got Chamber to bring something back. We've got Skip of the Unchained to pop something. Bro, uh, how many spells you got? One, two, okay, only two. That's fine. So that means no back row pop, which is nice. He's going to grab us a contract for follow-up. Or more specifically, his discard fodder, which is what I'm going to use it as. Okay. So you're gonna activate this, I would imagine, and discard. So you need to target an other card you control. This is targeted disruption, so I'm going to use it now. The main reason I want to use this now is it puts Unchained, um, the Abominable Soul Unchained, in the graveyard, which means that I can bring it back, essentially, 
off of our... Does that... Wait, does that work? I don't know if that works. Does that... Because it's still... Targeted... Yeah, it still gets destroyed. <laughs> what the fuck was you thinking? What, what were you thinking? That doesn't do anything. <laughs> You're a fucking idiot. What was even your plan? That's fine. So with the abominable and uh, with that soul being revivable, it just means that we can react much more effectively to Ray, which is kind of what, what we want, right? So we can force Ray to like, it doesn't stop anything, unfortunately, but it does put him in a, in a bit of a worse spot. So let's go for this. Because it's non-targeting. That's the big thing. So this is non-targeting de uh, destruction. So we're going to cross out one of his extra deck monsters here. If he's smart, he goes Kena. If he's dumb as hell, he goes Kigiri. Yeah, he goes Ki he goes Kena. That's fair. Uh, let me see. Ray, Ray, Rose. He's got one Ray left in deck. I'm thinking am I forcing him to go Zeke here? Because Zeke temporarily banishes my shit, right? And then I get it back. Till your opponent's next damn phase, yeah. I'm gonna do that. Just means Ray doesn't float from the graveyard. I'm instead forcing him to use the one copy left in deck. Uh, having him use copies in his graveyard doesn't benefit me in any way. If we're gonna beat... Striker, we kind of need to make sure we're grinding them down appropriately. Because he has to get rid of Ray here in order to do anything. Ray and the Kigiri. Yep. So Kigiri will grab back a Sky Striker spell. I've got Engage and Grave, do you? He does not. What's the current song called? Um, Area 49 by Owned Music. There's a link. Don't, like, click links on the internet by people you don't trust, by the way. Don't do that. Um, interesting. He's gonna... Hmm. Hornet drones. What is... Are you gonna go, like, access code here? <laughs> Clicking every link I can find. <laughs> Battle phase. What the fuck? What was any of that? What was the point of any of that? I don't get it. Are you going goddess? To like fuck over my no no okay he's not he's going Zeke I I don't understand all of my traps are in grave that's wild all of them are in the graveyard that is insane Alexis, why why are you doing this to yourself who hurt you? Other than me, I guess. <laughs> oh, this sucks. Oh, that's right. Multi rule is a card. Fuck. That's wild that all of my traps are in grief. That is some bullshit right there. Ah, oh, you're cringe. You're so cringe. 
You're so cringe. That's wild. Indeed it has. Okay. Yeah, I should run more traps. That's, that's, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Uh, three of both is a lot. With both the Turgate and Contract packages, it's a lot. Could drop an Imperm, I guess. Yeah, let's drop an Imperm. I wish they had, like, a, just, like, one more good trap card. If they had one more good trap, like, we would be Gucci. We'd be flying, we'd be soaring. But they don't, so, fuck. Cut one Rakia. Uh, maybe. I mean, the second Rakia hasn't come up yet, I guess. Yeah, I can cut Rakia, I guess. I mean, with playing the extra traps, Rakia is now technically a better starter than what it was. But yeah, and the second one hasn't come up yet. It's a good hand. These two are not good to have in hand. In fact, these two are terrible to have in hand, but the rest of the hand is a gas. So, I think we'll live. We can make this work. You guys are both level 8. Okay, so we're going to go Dark Contract with the whatever. Have you even used it? Nope, haven't used it once. Games haven't gone that far. Guys, okay, so we're going to play you. Okay, Normal Summon the Tour Guide. Let's see what you've got. Oh, no, he just actually lets it resolve. Shit. All right. Damn. Uh, yeah, it is pure Unchained. Yes, this is pure Unchained. All right. Let's go for it. Okay, so we get the search a card and we get the mill a card. Awesome. So we have normal summoned. So we're going to send from deck to grave, we're going to send you. And then we're going to add from deck to hand the Aurora. And Shwarma from grave is going to play Escape of the Unchained. Then we're going to use the Unchained Twins. We're going to pop the Escape of the Unchained. Summoning itself. That's going to activate Escape of the Unchained to summon another monster from the deck. Got something you want to say? Alright, let's summon the Abominable Unchained Soul. Okay. Do we do Sarama here? I just want to recycle my escape, really. Yeah, I'm going to go Sarama. Not using you. That's cringe. Anyway, that is very annoying. Very annoying indeed. But can't say I didn't see it coming. Can't, yeah, I kind of knew that was going to happen. All right. Vase King. Let's play Machinix. Doesn't do much of anything, really. Play this. Oh, yeah, because I can use, oh, it does. Yeah, because I can, um, I can pop this. Yeah. For real. Shuffle that back. Get popping. Getting a thousand life points. So this can special summon a fiend monster from hand or grave. And this will summon one from deck. Okay. Summon disaster? We have disaster in hand. I guess we yeah, we can tune it off of his nib, yeah. I guess.
Probably should have did those the other way around. To protect from ash. Okay, yeah. I fucked that up. Okay, that's my bad. Alright, that's fair. It happens. Um, special summon. I guess Sarama. I guess. I mean, Sarama is the only one that does anything, right? The rest of these guys don't do anything. Wait, I get the option of destroying a card? Then I probably shouldn't. Because I kind of need material. <laughs> kind of need something on my goddamn field. Uh, two monsters, including an Unchian Soul monster. Is that only a card I control? Sorry, what effect is this? You. Um, then destroy one card you control. Yeah, so we don't want to. We don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. Okay, you can target an Unchain card, set it to your field, then destroy a card you control. So we set twins, this guy, and then we just pop them right away, right? Fuck them. Then this is gonna summon out another one. Another monster, gonna summon out the blue dog. Blue dog. Blue dog. Right, then we go... Uh, what am I missing? I have a feeling I'm supposed to be able to do something here that I'm not able to do. I have a feeling... Because it's turn one. Uh, I have a feeling I'm supposed to be doing something here that I, I'm not capable of doing for some reason. Dark card, destroy it. I guess I could just summon him from deck, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Yeah, we're just gonna do this. I'm gonna pop Sarama. Activate Sarama. We're just going to go into this. We could do Rage, but I, I wanted to... Rage... Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, you're right. It was Rage. Okay, I can still do it, though. It's fine. I'm unironically going to keep the nib token, just because it's so goddamn huge. Oh, no, it needs to be a fiend monster destroyed. I'm stupid. Oh, why am I so dumb? Why do y'all let me do this? Why does, why do y'all let me do this? Why does, oh my God. Why do y'all let me do this? I can't believe this. Why do y'all let me do this? Motherfucker. <laughs> I could have fucking, all I needed to do was get rid of the fucking token. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. <laughs> you can't with the. I was planning on doing that, but this guy needs to pop a fiend. Uh, the other card could have sent this, but this can't pop nib. Let's read cards for a moment. No, you can't. That's what I'm saying. Like, I get tripped up on that too. I thought I would just be able to pop it. You can't. You most assuredly cannot. The the two the two dogs have to pop fiends. So I should have um with the effect that I sent this here? No. Where did I pop the, the Vaser King? Oh no, yeah, no, sorry, I, I should have linked uh the the nib token into rage. Oh, that was my bad. God, my fucking eye is killing me, man. What the fuck? Oh, focus, 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 focus up. Okay. He's just gonna swing into this guy. Fuck. It's not decent. He's got nib. 
<laughs> so it doesn't do anything. Force of the battle phase, which is okay. Uh, Volcanics will be... It'll not be on this stream, because our we're only streaming for over 25 minutes. But it will be a deck that I cover, for sure. For sh I guess he just must not have had any cards. What the fuck? What was he playing? <laughs> Why are you playing Nave and Sky Striker? Why? What a fucking idiot. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> what the fuck? Why is so much Sky Striker around right now? What the fuck? Did, did Striker get some sort of like new support or something? Are they like especially good against a deck that just came out? Are they like a counter to Unchained? Like, I don't understand. Why are we seeing so much Striker? <laughs> I don't fucking. I don't get it. Oh, this is a, this is a pretty decent hand. Uh, or it would be if he didn't have that card. God fucking damn it. Um. Yeah, this shit sucks. <laughs> this fucking sucks. Oh, god damn it. I fucking hit this card, man. What the fuck? What the fuck? Uh, trying to build Brand, I just need to pull the spells. I no, I don't think it would be worth dismantling RDA to build it. I think dismantling decks is a terrible idea, just because there's a 99% chance that you're gonna want to play that deck again, right? At some point. And there's a decent chance that once you're finished building the deck that you just built, you might not like it as much as the deck you dismantled. So I would definitely recommend not doing that. Um yeah, Gamma, like, I don't know, man. Um, select the monster special summon from your deck. Man, is it even, I don't, I'm just trying to figure out how hard it's worth going. But like, it's just not worth, it's just not worth it, man. It's not worth it in any capacity. Uh, I'm just gonna go for, I guess, just like blue dog. No, we'll go for the red one. Uh, we'll just set up our graveyard a little bit, and then we'll just pass. Is the play for now? So linking these two off in the rage will give us not only rage, which is a good card. Uh, but it will also grant us a little bit of advantage in the grave, for sure. Rikasun Avalon. Scrap Vanquish Soul for this. Try it. Yeah. I mean, and that's, that's a common thing as well. Like, whenever you scrap a card, and then, like, three months later, they come out with a, a new card or a new deck or whatever that, like, TX advantage of the card that you just scrapped is the worst feeling in the world. Uh, <laughs> I doing a little Sabrino. Send the card to the graveyard. So I guess we're just going to send probably just the, like, the blue dog and just chill. Just have this set up for next turn. Have a skip, rage, bell, fucking Maxi, man. Maxi sucks. Maxi fucking sucks the life out of everything. God damn. <laughs> Maxi needs to go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's got how many cards in hand? Eight? God fucking. Okay. We are just going to have to tame these interruptions well. That's not a good start. That is not a good start. I 
Alright. You're gonna... Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Um... Damn, I don't want to do that. Because there's a decent chance this is lab. Right. Okay. What we're going to do then is... This. I'm going to pop this. Please don't be transaction rollback or big welcome. Please don't. Uh, just transaction. Just don't be transaction rollback, please. Call by. Yes. Okay, great. Rage then adds this back to my hand. Okay, right, we got it. Okay, so it's back in hand. Perfect. And I'm in. Okay, now we're going to do this again. We're going to use... We're going to destroy the twins. I will throw hands. Right, pop this. Summon you. Fuck. Okay, that really sucks, man. Uh, my plan was to do this. I hear fucking Cold by sucks, man, against this deck. I, I, I don't want to deal with Cold by. Hell yeah. Um, we're going to drop that. We're going to pop this dork here. Super factorial. You can't. This guy can only be activated during main. Yup. Man's is how are you like how are you playing math mech and not having any cards? This is this is disgusting. Oh if I knew oh there was no way for me to know that set two pass was math mech. There was simply no way for me to know that. For me to obtain that information. Simply was not possible. There's no way. <laughs> He's a fucking jaw. <laughs> Fuck, man. There's no way. I was so sure it was lab. I was so sure. I've never been more wrong in my life. I have never been more wrong in my life. Um... Yes, because I needed to pop Rage to get a card to my hand to discard. Because I didn't want to discard Ghost Bell because I thought I was playing against Lab and Ghost Bell gets Big Welcome. So, I wanted to have an extra card in hand to discard for the Abomination. Yeah, no. <sighs> Fuck. Fuck. It's so bad. I think we're just... Don't we, don't we just lose? Don't we just die here? I'm fairly certain we just lose. <laughs> Fuck. Um, if I wanted to clear out both back row, I would have. I wanted to clear out both of them. God damn it, man. He's got too much extension. Uh... 
Yeah, I think this is it. I can't fucking believe I, all. If I did nothing, I would have survived. If I just did nothing, I would have been fine. That's wild. Incredible. Simply incredible. All I had to do was nothing. <sighs> well, shit. Yeah, thank god Diameter's limited. This deck certainly feels nerfed. <laughs> okay, access code... Fuck. Please pop the back row. Please pop the back row. I would really appreciate it if you pop the back row. That would be great. That would be so funny. You should try it. You should try popping back row. I've heard that it's all the rage. Oh, he doesn't have any more link monsters! Fuck. Alright, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> And a bell the splash. I was expecting him to go transcode. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I was expecting firewall OTK, not um, update jammer. Uh, it didn't make a difference though. It really didn't. There was no difference to be had. No difference to be made. I can't fucking believe that. That shit was dumb. That was so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't think in either circumstance that we would have survived. Because if we build the splash, then he literally just goes into transcode and does it that way anyway. Oh, I hate seeing both of these cards in hand, man. It's a neat little legend, but I fucking hate seeing this guy in hand. Double traps, shawarma. Seems like a good hand on the surface. Can you add from like graveyard to hand or just deck? Just deck. Fuck. This deck would be this. Ah, uh, well, I guess it's actually a pendulum monster. So. Ah, oh, great. Going up against snake eyes with no hand traps. If y'all had anything you needed to do, now is the time to do it. Ah, uh, he's gonna be here a while. He's gonna be here a fucking. He's gonna be here for a hot minute. So, get comfortable. <laughs> get comfortable. Okay, Link Rebo. Got it. Got it, got it. Gonna play the Poplar. Sending to some Neok. Okay, never seen this combo before. Yeah, damn, it's all new to me. All new. I still just... Uh, they're easily beat by burn decks? What do you mean easily beat by burn decks? I don't think anything is easily beat by a burn deck. Are you going to open up 8,000 points of damage? What are the odds of that? So, we're gonna go... Have you... Okay, no, this is just... Um, materials. Okay, so you go Promethean Princess here. Alright, Princess, bring back Flamberge. Flamberge resets IP into the back row. And then we're gonna have... to contend with, what, like a Promethean Princess, like a format Appalosa? Trickstar Burn, I mean, it's not. 
it's a neat idea, but like I have one, I have not seen it since like the second month of Master Duel coming out. And number two, I've never seen it work. Apart from like the like occasional YouTube fucking uh, replay where someone plays the 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 deck for three months trying to get one replay to show that it works. Yeah, I'm good. And uh, yeah, I mean they do some chip, yeah. Two back row. What the fuck? This is, uh... I'm so glad that Max is keeping all those all these combo decks in check. I'm so glad that these combo decks are in check and not ruining the game for everyone with, with super long combos that can't be interrupted. Really glad that Max is, is, is keeping this game healthy and secure against the combo decks. Love it. Love it. Okay, time to win. Hi. <laughs> Not looking good. Flamberge and the IP. <sighs> Fuck. There you go. That's exactly it. Yeah, bad Mac. Yeah. It needs to be banned. <laughs> Card needs to go. There is nothing more frustrating. I think, honestly, I think it's more frustrating than going against, like, stun with seven floodgates. I would rather that than watch a combo player do their full turn just to have Maxi in hand. No, that's some, I don't know why the music does this. For some reason, it, it's a thing that happens on, on streams at a certain point in the stream. The, the audio for everything except the microphone goes weird, and I, I don't get it. I don't know why they do it. Um... Let me change track and see if that fixes it. I don't even know how to fix it. It just goes away. I, I honestly, I don't know. Give me a second. I'm going to check the audio. That sounds all crackly, man. Yeah. I wonder why that is. I'm not an audio engineer. I don't know how to. I don't know how to stream. I don't know. Fuck it. It is what it is, though. Why? Uh, okay. Oh, you. You're the problem. You're the reason. Wait, did I normal summon you? Did I normal summon that? I did. I normal summoned it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. That's what I get for not paying attention, I guess. Uh... <laughs> That's my bad. You're right, man. Oh, I can't believe we did this whole stream and we didn't have the uncha- Oh. Neat. I think that's sure. Let's do this. Let's do another pack. I guess. Uh, you three blazing? No, you don't. Uh, most people play at, at at two, maybe one. Like one or two is fine. Uh, yeah, sure. It's a bunch of SRs. I'll take it. Limits over extending combo decks. Yeah, but it's not. But it doesn't. But it doesn't limit over extending combo decks. Did you not watch that game? Thank you very much, my friends. Even despite our music mishap, I can't believe we played this whole stream and did not once equip the abomination. That's so cringe. I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I did that. That's so cringe. Oh my god. 
We're three hours deep and nobody pointed that out to me. Butler is... I don't know. Butler looks like a dude. I don't know. I like what... A, a it's gendered in German? Well, maybe in Germany it's a woman. Maybe everywhere else it's a dude. <laughs> okay, we have called by, which is good. Uh, I could normal the rock, yeah, but I kind of don't want to. I don't really need to. We can go shawarma, pop this, summon... What, summon Sarama? Yeah, I think we'll probably do that. Yeah. So we'll pop this. Summon you. Activate this to summon out a... What do we summon? Sarama here? Uh, we can... We can do Sarama. Uh, we should probably just do the blue dog. Because I'm going to use this guy in... Well, no, I can send the blue dog to the grave then off of him. Let's do Sarama. Fuck it. Okay, so we're going to normal summon the fiendish rhino warrior. So I don't think I get the discard for you at this combo. So this, this works. So I go for the Sarama here. We reset our trap. We pop this. You then will mill a card. Sending the grave. We'll send Ledaug to the grave. We activate the dog. Pop Sarama. Ah, oh, mm, yeah, I guess I could have got a second summon out of this thing, couldn't I have? Hmm, maybe. 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 Um, what's the harm in... Shit, I wish I had another trap. God damn it. Wish I had another trap. Okay, so we'll pop this and... This, I guess. You can destroy one card you control. Uh, yeah, okay, that's fine. So I can still, I can still uh, make plays happen here, which is good. That's fine. I can still make make, make things happen here. Uh, so we're gonna set that. Then we're gonna pop escape to summon a level six from deck. Yeah, bit of an awkward way to go about it. But we got to the end goal, so we did, which is neat. Definitely a bit of an awkward way to go about it, but it worked. It's fine. Would have been nice to have a skip, but it's not mandatory. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. You better not have a fucking imperm or some dumb shit. <laughs> um, let me see. Oh, decraft. Oh, you mean the Cartesias? You can decraft one of them if you ha if you have three and you need the materials. You can decraft one. I would keep two. Because you'll either play it at two or you'll play it at one, but you'll you might want to change, right? If you only play it at one ever, then you'll be restricting your deck building for no reason. Okay. Normal Mudora. Mudora is a pin in the ass. 
But we shall make it work. We're going to normal summon Rakia. I think we just swing, don't we? This card is destroyed by card effect. Specifically by card effect. Gotcha. Make chapter ending on Triheart Colossus. Mm hmm. Okay, so we're gonna play Imperm here. Right. <laughs> fucking hell, man. You don't gotta be fucking. Oi. Okay. That's <laughs> that's really that really that sucks. That really sucks. I'm not gonna lie. Ah, that's not good. Okay, well, as long as he only has the one card. Because like, he has to send a trap to use this, right? So he's going to send this Fearstone. Hopefully it's nothing, right? Eradicator? And then all we got to worry about is whether or not this card in his hand is anything. So as, lo as long as the card in his hand is also nothing. We're fine. Yado. So, hmm. We've got this. Co clock. Um. Why the clock? Why normal summon the clock? Link to. Into muck. No. Into what? What is your play here? Let me see. No worries, my friend. See ya. Enjoy. I'm gonna, we're we're going to be finishing up the stream soon anyways. Uh, we're, we're actually going past our scheduled end time. Uh, we'll maybe do one more after this. Okay, link two. Into what? Oh, Yama. Okay, yeah. No, it makes total... Yeah, total sense. Makes total sense. Uh, Unchained monster for deck to hand. Fusion deployment needed. You can get fusion deployment from the... Um, cybernetic succession structure deck. You don't have to get... You don't have to, like, dedicate anything or craft it or anything like that. You can get it from the structure deck, which is way, way, way cheaper. Nadir is getting limited to two. So if you're planning on playing the Deer Servant, make sure you don't craft three of it. Okay. Are you gonna... Okay, I guess... He... Yeah, sure. Oh, he knows my defense. Shit. I was kind of hoping he wouldn't know. Uh, this is fine. I get more advantage. Let's see. Okay, shawarma. We got... I actually... I'm just. That's just his name from now on. It's just shawarma. I, I, that's it. I didn't make that decision. That was an executive decision made above my head. I can't do anything about that. Um, I just, I just enforce the rules. I don't make them. That's just its name now. God, that's making me hungry though. Fuck. <laughs> that he did. Let me see. I mean, he knows. Obviously, he... Wait. Okay. He's got to pop his own 
guy summon summon his own shawarma. Okay, then end. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Yeah, this is this is fine. This is totally fine. We definitely have the ability to to destroy this guy for sure. If a card you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, while well, this card is in your graveyard. Okay, so that's annoying, but not insurmountable. All right, let's start playing. Oh, he's got Mudora. What a scumbag! I forgot he had Mudora. Totally forgot he had Mudora. I'm gonna force him to use it right now. I'm gonna force him to use uh, the Mudora right now. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Anyone trying Shark Attack? It's on my list. I'm definitely going to be playing it. Uh, I heard there was a, a recent regional top with someone playing Sharks in the TCG. So I'm going to... Although I think they were playing Totally Awesome. That's right. I talked about that earlier. He was playing Totally Awesome, which we don't have. I'm going to have to do some research into that. I'm going to see where we are with Sharks. But I definitely want to, want to at, at the very least, give one a try. You know? Okay. That's fine. Gonna return the Storyuma Cannon. Not returning three cards, only returning two. Interesting, that's fair. Uh, we're gonna go then. Oh, this is perfect. I can go into you now. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Soul of Disaster. Because then I can get rid of this card without actually needing to pop anything, which means his Yama doesn't get triggered. Perfect. And I can go into my own Yama. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. So he does get to set a trap from his deck, but he's not going to live long enough to use it, so it doesn't matter. Okay, perfect. Escape of the Unchained. As long as he don't do anything stupid and pop his cards, we'll be fine. So we got 2,000. We need to do 5,200 points of damage. Let's just aim for damage and move on. This should give me 15, and then this will give me 3k, and then that's lethal. Yeah, that's lethal. Could have went for more, but not necessary. Don't need to do it. No need to BM. All right, nice. Unchained Lab, our opponent was using there. Very interesting. Didn't really work out too strongly in his favor, but that's fine. It's a decent attempt. And this is going to be the last duel of the stream. Technically, the, technically the stream was supposed to end 10 minutes ago, but, you know, it's whatever. Uh, we'll play one more game. All right, let's do this. Ash, Ghost Bell. Mm, don't like seeing Requiem in my hand. Okay, that's fine. Ash, gonna grab... Oh! Kurakara, you've all... Oh! Okay, yeah, that checks out. Nah. No, 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 no. We need, uh, we need these, um... We need these two hand traps to be as impactful as possible. Uh... Going second unchained. Okay, that sounds pretty fun. Got Poplar. Yeah, Poplar's fine. 
I would imagine you're going to grab the field spell. Yup. That works. That works. Playing Flamberge, Fierce Dine, okay. Okay, well, here, I mean, I'd be very curious to see it. If you want to hop into the Discord and leave it in, um, like, upload a deck list or something like that, that'd be pretty nice to see. It's like, uh, so how are you doing at turn zero? Are you, like, playing, um, I don't know, the furniture cards don't even do that. Eschid Sharks, that's one that somebody mentioned earlier in the stream. How about the pools? We did really well. Uh, we did need to craft. Uh, ironically, we needed to craft all three copies of Bonfire. Um, that was pretty much it. And then the only other things we crafted were like, you know, tour guide and things which weren't actually in the pack. Uh, the only thing we needed to craft was Bonfire. Everything else we got, which is good. And we needed to craft one copy of Yama and one copy of this guy as well. So, uh, we had to craft a couple of things, I guess. But it, it was, and you know what, it was fine. It was, it was worth it. It's all good. The best 9,000 gens for newbie in the burning arena where Unchained Volcanics and Battling Boxers are. Uh, yeah, I think Unchained is pretty good. Unchained, if you, if you want to play Unchained, yeah, that's a decent deck. There's a whole bunch of different decks you could play that are very good. Um, okay. Gotta bring back Poplar. Okay, these two into Hita. Interesting, not going... Flamberge into Hita. Okay, that makes sense. Does that say the graveyard or your graveyard? To the graveyard. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, so that still works. Okay. Um, so we can go... I guess I could just go directly in the princess. And investing in branded labyrinth and unchained. All three are top tier. All three are amazing. You can't go wrong with any of them. They're all really good. That was a good bell. That was a very good bell. That stops them from getting... Unless you just do this for Flamberge? Oh, shit. All right. God, he really fucking wanted that dragon, huh? He really wanted that dragon. Sword Souls better, new to the game. Yeah, I'm actually going to do... I'm actually doing a video soon on best decks for new players. Uh, I just haven't gotten around to the meat and bones of it yet. Uh, oh, okay. I really needed this. This hand was ass. But th this helps a lot, so it does. All right. Abomination's Prison. Oh, God, my throat's so fucking dry, man. Yeah. Okay. Deck the hand. We've got... <laughs> Not... Not a lot. Not a lot of options here. Um, probably one of the back rows is the better bet, I would say. Yeah, I would say one of the back rows is the better bet here. There's a bunch of decks that are really good for... Like, if you're newer to the game and you want a little bit of advice or you want, like, an easier deck to learn while also being able to win games, I, unironically, think Scarclaw is the best deck for new players. I think Scarclaw is. Not only is it really fucking good, it's also relatively cheap. It's pretty cheap. And very straightforward gameplay. Very straightforward. And the deck's fun. And the value you get out of the cards is much higher than Sword Soul, in my opinion, because the thing about Scarclaw is that you can also use Scarclaw with Kashdera. Scarclaw in Monodium. Uh, you can use it sort of, you can get around in the whole Monodium archetype story thing to get some value out of those cards. So, you know. Um, yeah. There, there's a ton of options. There really is. 
But like, if you're just looking for a new deck and you're an, you're an experienced enough player and you're just looking for a new deck, then yeah, any one of those three are awesome. I personally, I'm a bit biased. I would say Unchained, but that's just because I'm I'm a little bit biased, right? I lo I love Unchained. That's just me. I I loved it back whenever it was you know not great, and I still like it now. Special summon from deck. What are we gonna special summon here? Uh, we are getting the... Oh, what is important to note here is I will be able to set a back row card. So that is very important to note. So we're going to grab Rakia, I would say. Okay. We're going to go Shwarma grabs us a back row. We're going to grab Escape of the Unchained. For a second, I thought that was called by. I'm not going to lie. I, I was going to freak out. I'm streaming on Twitch. Uh, yeah, I am currently live on Twitch as well. I think our Twitch viewership is relatively low. So, um, the more, more viewers on Twitch, the better. Your boy's trying to get that affiliate status, but not everyone likes sitting and watching the ads on Twitch. I know Twitch has more ads than what YouTube does. Um, but yeah, again, it's up to yourself. <laughs> I could have as many Twitch viewers as I could get. <laughs> Gotta play the game sometimes. It's just the way it is. Uh, is it good enough to craft a free tour guide? I mean, I did. You don't have to. So that's the thing. You don't have to craft a free tour guide. You can play the deck with a tour guide. In fact, many people in a TCG are playing it with a tour guide. Um, you don't have to do that at all. That's purely an entirely optional engine. Um, but if you wanted to, you could. <laughs> I appreciate that, but yeah, Adrian, I really do. And for a little bit adds up, that's for damn sure. We got Snake Eyes, Poplar. Damn, this man, this, can somebody tell him that it's my turn? Can, like, I, there appears to have been some sort of miscommunication. Uh, yeah, the thing about Twitch as well is that it's fucking impossible to get people to notice you. Like, you can't, unless you're in the fucking tippy top percent. It, I, I see if, like, all, like, 80 of y'all on YouTube went to Twitch, we may get some eyes. But, like, no, it's not worth it. Why would you? The ads are super long, super obnoxious. As a platform, I'm not, I don't really, it's nice. It's just not my favorite. I just prefer YouTube. But I can do both, so fuck it. Why would I choose? Yeah, I lost. That was an unfortunate imperm. <laughs> but speaking of doing both, it's about time we start doing neither. I need to get ready for work. But that's going to wrap us up for this stream here. Uh, a lot of fun. Unchained. Pretty solid. Definitely a bit of a learning curve there. Uh, we learned a lot as we were playing, and I think there's still more for me to learn and practice in the, in the background before I make a video on it. But... Definitely something I'm going to be making videos on. Like I said, there's also going to be... What, what's on our list here? We've got Dark World, Sharks, Battle and Boxers, Revisiting Snake Eye, Revisiting Labyrinth, Triple D Unchained, Dark World Unchained, Evil Eye Unchained. A lot of Unchained is about to be happening. So... <laughs> Get ready for that. If you want to catch that shit, subscribe if you have it. Like the stream if you have it. And Volcanics is on the list too. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.